Ben. Ben. Tom? Oh my god. Tom. Ugh. I'm getting scrambled. Yeah, me too. Deleting. Ah, uh, I don't feel good, Mr. Tom. Oh no. Oh no. God, how you doing? I'm all right. I'm a bit sleepy. Man, I know that feeling. Not sleeping in the heat. Heat, no sleep. Yeah. Yeah, God. Like. That's my rule. It's hell. I'm in hell now. I just, I just hate it. Every year this happens, and every year I think, oh God, next year, next winter, I'm going to buy an aircon, and then I'll be ready. And then it's winter, and I'm like, I need an aircon. <laughs> and it gets hot for like two days a year. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then next summer rolls around, and I'm like, when will it end? Yeah, Jesus. Like yesterday, I was like dying in the heat, and then I looked at the weather, and I was like, it's 20 degrees right now. Today is 31. <laughs> oh god oof just man i can't do it like some people fucking love the heat no i like i want to live um, in a little cabin in the arctic circle oh. i want to have to wear 50 layers at all times okay. and always be cold that is that is my dream you'd rather that than just normal temperature yeah <laughs> just you know i'm not doing anything by halves i want it i want to be super fucking cold wow um Sorry, that's, if anything, you know, the future is going to be like more like this. Can we not like do that sort of like fucking nuclear winter thing? <laughs> like, mm, that sounds nice. Sounds snuggly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like you get to like, you know, curl up with a big like seven armed mutant mm. who's 18 feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. You're barbecuing the um, carcass of your enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, you get to um, wear people's heads as hats. Oh, that's true. You get to suck out their bone marrow because, you know, every vitamin counts. You're getting mm -hmm. no sunlight. Oh, man. So, um, yeah, yeah. I'm super down with that. You've got to get the marrow instead. Definitely. Definitely game for bone marrow. Um, oh, we are looking at just um, some random person's uh, chat. Not our chat. Oh, that's not our chat. That's why there's so oh. many, like, fucking anime girls names? appearing in it. <laughs> uh, that oh. makes... I thought they were talking about me. Uh, 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 Sydney, I have no game sound. Can I have game sound, please? There we go. Um, but before we do the game, Tom, we have to do our most famous segment of all. What's new in Warhammer today, What's last week? What's new in Warhammer last week? Yeah. Um, yeah. Boom. Boom. There's some more Rohans. Yeah, I, so I actually read this this morning. I thought this was kind of jokes because um, uh, these were always some of my favorite characters in the uh, Lord of the Rings game. Mm -hmm. um, I've not played the Middle Earth one, but it's basically the same thing. Yeah. It's basically it's the same game. You, you roll off, highest dice wins. Yeah. <laughs> and then you need a six to kill anyone. <laughs> um, but it's all, every character. Oh, it's and it, 50 points or less. Oh, okay. Battle of the Weenies. Um, and so. Who is Sid Briarthorn? Briarthorn. He is the dude who's kind of like in charge of uh, Sharky's ruffians during the oh, Scarab. Ah, wow. Um, Someone below Sharky. So he's cool. He's fun. Okay, yeah. Uh, he fights before Denethor, famously setting himself on fire. Uh, versus Grishnak. Grishnak is the... He's the one who's like, follows him into the woods, and he's what, like... What about that eggs? They? they don't need those, do they? Yeah, yeah, that guy, and then he just gets stamped on by Treebeard. Okay. Uh, Bilbo versus Grinner. Who's Grinner? He looks horrendous. He's one of the... Is he um, from... Um, the, the... The film where they all the go Hobbit climbing goblins. underground. He's the little... I love those goblins. The design of them is amazing. Um... Uh, if, if I was going to play this game, I'd be very tempted to make that goblin force. But you don't get a lot of variety. No, it's all just a bunch of pale gobbos. Just loads and loads of pale gobbos. But the models are so good. Um, that's who you made the Poo Lagoon Kid out of, right? That's the Poo Lagoon Kid was made out of one of those. Um, just nice. really nice. Really good toys. That was one of the times where when they ended the Hobbit like franchise. <laughs> um, and they weren't selling them anymore. Or we're going to stop selling them. I did go and buy two boxes of those gobos because I was like, Just right, in case. I don't need them right now. I'm not yeah. planning to play this One game. One day I'll do something that will need these goblins. But I like these models so much that fuck it, I'm just going to buy and get two boxes um, because they're very cool. Oh, man, Bilbo wins that one as well. Jeez, my money was not on him. Yeah, Bilbo because he's got the ring. 
<gasps> you put the ring on. That's cheating. I know. Ring wraiths cost more than 50 points as well, so he's safe. Yeah, just totally, <laughs> totally immune. <laughs> bullshit. I think he's going to win. Uh, Bombo's going to win, though, right? He did the bullshit barrel. Nonsense. He was in the barrel, but um, Shaku, Shaku was like a bit of a killer. He's the Who's dude Shaku? that, he's the guy riding the warg that drags... Oh, um, drags Aragorn off the cliff. Yeah. And I really, really like his sword. Because mm. it's like a big blade with like a handle in. And so you can like punch with it. You can slice with it. It's, it's yeah, design. it's a chopper. Um, Eowyn. Brandabras took one of one of the coolest halflings. Okay. Um, he's, he's not the one who invented golf, is he? Uh, that's one of... Maybe it's him. He's the guy that... Um, He's the, the the biggest halfling, or he was the biggest halfling. Oh, okay. And he could ride a full size man horse. No. And he used a full size man club. <laughs> That's how fucking big of a badass. Was he also he was. Amish? <laughs> Look at him. Uh, he was he was actually also Amish. Yes. <laughs> okay. Wait. Looks like he eats a lot of Quaker oats. Would um maybe that's how he got so big? Wait, but surely the hobbits kind of are Amish. They don't use any tech past, like, the sort of, like... Yeah, but then, like, Gondors are... Everyone except the Urukai are Amish. Oh, actually, wait. <laughs> but the halflings, uh, the hobbits, they definitely have buttons, and Amish aren't allowed buttons. A button's her tech heresy. That is heresy. Ugh. Wow. Buttons. Are you part of the fucking buttons. Dark Mechanicus? Hang on. When the, f when the fuck were buttons invented? <laughs> Too fucking late for the Amish. That's... Insanity. Surely they were invented hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Citation needed. I I need to check this. That is check. Crazy. I'm, I'm pretty sure buttons Amish are banned. Buttons. Um, buttons and the Amish. There's a whole article on it, Tom. <gasps> Heresy. Heresy. <laughs> Wait, wait, but look, some Amish, some, like these ah. New Order, uh, do wear buttons. So yeah, if you're, wow. yeah, if you're a heretic. Some of them find hooks and snaps acceptable, and others view buttons as perfectly fine, as long <laughs> as they are totally on it. You can have a simple functional button okay. among some splinter faction Amish. Oh my god, I can't wait for the great button wars. The button wars <laughs> begin. <laughs> um... I mean, let's, let's not joke about it, but, like, religious wars have started over, over <laughs> much a lot less there. stuff. Man, think of how good so many of those Napoleonic uniforms would be in the button wars. Because some of those oh are God. more button than uniform. Yeah. Do you think that's what they do? Do you think the pro-button Amish would be just, like, fucking covered in them to taunt their enemies? Yeah, like... And then know, the anti-button Amish would just have a thousand belt straps holding their j jackets together. Yeah, holy shit. Like, um... But you know that sort of like old school, like Bronze Age style armor, mm -hmm. where they have just sort of like curious, like leather, but just like uh, like bronze discs, mm -hmm. just sort of like stitched on. Yeah. Like, what what counts as a button? Does it actually have to be functional? Because <laughs> they have to hook and loop over something. Because can you turn the button, like make the buttons become armor? Oh my god! Do you think they're gonna have the advantage? I feel like you would get the advantage because they're not allowed any weapons developed after whenever they do drew the line in the sand. Yeah, what weapons are the Amish allowed? Are they going to end up in like a 40k situation where their armor technology is greater than their weapons? Oh, uh, that might be. That might be the case. Maybe maybe the button wars already happened and no one could win because they both just like were pounding wooden clubs onto armored plates uh, okay. and no one could get anywhere. So that's why they outlawed buttons for the, <laughs> for the health of the game. <laughs> yeah. Because it turned... It turned like, into a stalemate. It just turned into this massive stalemate. Um, mm. We, we, we may never know. Amish allowed no weapons. But they definitely have, like, axes. And they chop rock. down... And scythes. Scythes, yeah. They must have scythes, right? Very cool. Like hammers. Yeah. I mean, mainly... We're talking about tools here, really, more than weapons. Yeah, but, like, you know, picture, you know, old-school martial arts <laughs> movies. Um, yeah. You know, what, what's the time? Is it, like, in China where they're like, boom, peasants aren't allowed swords anymore. Yeah, so and they're, they're like, oh, we can't use swords. Better get real fucking good with the nunchucks. Yeah, then. now <laughs> we're going to take all of this other stuff and become even more powerful than you can possibly yeah. imagine. Um, get Shaolin on your ass. So, yeah, I, I think, like, you know, let them, let them have swords because mm. that's probably better because then you at least you know how to fight against that. Yeah. But you don't want to be fighting pole vaulting 
um, like pitchfork yeah, like maniacs. Guys in like those little like horse-drawn buggies, and there's like two dudes with scythes in the back, just like swinging into your like mass like ranks. <laughs> Sounds terrible. Oh man, um, I could drop some amazing one-liners as well. Like, um, um, you ready for a thrashing? Ready for a thrashing? Yeah, yeah. you reap what you sow. So, something like that. Yeah, um, I'm in. You are weak before the sun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bam, I'm into this. I like. Okay, the Amish Wars. Yeah. I want to see that happen. I'm on board. Uh, so, Brandon Russ took. Very good. I think he wins. Farmer Maggot. Hang on, does Gollum win? I need to know if Gollum beats Bofa. Uh, I, I've just finished reading The Hobbit to my boy. I'll tell you what, in the book especially, these dwarves are completely interchangeable. Bo oh. Bofa is fat. And um, Feely and Keely are like young. And all the others, who gives a shit? <laughs> like they, li they literally have no like yeah, discernible features. Other dwarves. Other dwarves. Yeah. So it feels a bit, bit cheap to have like four of them in here when they're all effectively the same character. Oh, sorry, Bomber's fat, not Bofa. I mean, talking shit. Do you know what I mean? Like having Biffa, Bomber, and Bofa. They should have made them all fight each other, and then whichever is the strongest dwarf gets to go into the competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only one dwarf may go through. Yeah. Highlander style. I feel like otherwise, you put three of them in here, one of them's going to make it, and then. That's, that's cheating. That's like England sending... That's like the United Kingdom sending three teams to the World Cup. Oh, okay. England, Scotland... Yeah, yeah, that <laughs> and is West. Oh, hang on, we do do that. that is and we still don't win. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Um, but Farmer Maggot, he mm -hmm. goes through. Um, because he, for 50 points, he comes with his three dogs as well. <gasps> where outnumbering oh your opponent... God, remember, that's massive. ...gave you like a big... Like a buff for dealing damage or something? It was if you knocked them over, right? Like, isn't it one guy, you're fighting, they're fighting, mm. and you get to roll all of your attacker's dice. Oh, and then, but use the highest fight value. Yeah, yeah. So having um, one good thing and lots of shit things was like the strat. Something like that. Like, it's been a long time since I played it, but yeah, who's, he just like kicks the Groblog? shit out of Groblog. And apparently Groblog? he's like a goblin from the Mines of Moria. Um, okay. Like the Goblin King. He's, he's got not a good the, hat. He doesn't look like the Goblin King. He was massive and like he looked like a great and clean one. No, this is Mines of Moria, not the oh, uh, Misty right. Mountains. Nice. Um, uh, yeah, the God, I hated that the giant that giant fat Goblin King. It just it just didn't work for me. Well, it didn't look anything like a Goblin, did he? He didn't look anything like a Goblin, and like he looked like a plague demon. <laughs> he looked like it was like a plague demon, but also it kind of like breaks. I mean, they get just weirdly specific on like immersion type mm -hmm. things. It's like, because he is easily, I'm going to say at least three times the height of the biggest other goblin there. Yeah, well, he towers over the human. Like, he's bigger than Gandalf. Yeah, like, he's like double the height of Gandalf. Hmm. And wow. um, so he's fucking enormous. And he's got like a big club that's bigger than any of the goblins. Hmm. But he's this like super charismatic, joking. Like, he sings and he does a dance. <laughs> yeah. um, and it's just like, if you're the goblin who kind of like gets, you rise to the top of being king of the goblins, mm -hmm. I feel like you either are super charismatic and sneaky, or you're, a big you're fucking guy. enormous, and you don't need to worry about being yeah. able to charm goblins, because any goblins that disagree, you fucking crump them. Mm -hmm. um, but him being both was like, you know, pick a thing. Pick a lane. <laughs> like, don't yeah. try and like spec into too many classes. Yeah. Just be big and scary, or fucking chatty and uh, you know sneaky. Not both. Yeah. Also, me. does that mean all goblins could get that big? Does it? I don't know. I don't know. Um, if they ate better, would they all be as big as him? Are they all just malnourished? Oh, a goblins like lobsters. They can just live forever, <laughs> but generally they don't because yeah. they can't find enough like food. A koi, too... Like a koi carp gets yeah. as big as its like environment will allow it to yeah, get. Or a yeah. catfish or something, right? So if you've got like an old catfish in a giant lake, he'll... Just keep, keep, keep growing. He'll keep growing, but you keep him in like a fish tank and he won't get any bigger. Mm. Maybe that's what it's like. Maybe he just had the biggest room oh, okay. in the caves and just got big. That makes that makes a lot of sense. Mm. Wow. Deep, deep lore. Deep, deep lore. 
That's why we keep all the Vod Goblins in one pit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want them getting out of control. Yeah, so no one can ever get too big. <laughs> yeah, they squash um, each other down. Yeah, because they'll sink in the pile and then get crushed down, <laughs> and then they come out as like a little weenie goblin again. Mm -hmm. um, oh, no, they get crushed down into a pearl. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> the intense the, weight and pressure. I thought the pearls were made of residue. Came, <laughs> yeah, they are. Oh. They're congealed. Oh. Like uh, matter. So yeah, that thing was fun, but it didn't go anywhere. Oh, did no one win? Or are they? Well, they're, they're going to do another round. Oh, okay. Um, Who's your money on? I want. Let's play spets now. So next week, when we look at it, like we'll see how wrong we were. I feel like Farmer Maggot is going to be he feels good because like he's got a lot of guys. Mm -hmm. um, Three on one. Yeah. Uh, Brandon Bruss took. I think is good because he's a very fighty guy. Yeah. Very, like, combat-focused. Um, so is Grishnak. He's pretty good, isn't he? Um, yeah, he's, like, pretty good. Like, um... Yeah, Did, I don't um, know. Did win? Her round? I'm going to put my... I reckon they're just going to make Airwin win. Because that looks good on the photo. Uh, which is the most recently released <laughs> model, actually? <laughs> yeah, that's a that good one. question. That one win. <laughs> yeah, the newest one. That one's going to be... And I couldn't even tell you. That's I think Farmer Maggot should win. Yeah, the, it feels like he's got the power. Eowyn is new. Boom. Oh, okay. Eowyn is new. Eowyn wins. Eowyn wins, without a doubt. We'll see, we'll oh, play. shit, that's a very good now. point. They're, they're called Eowyn, not Ao Lose. <laughs> sold! <laughs> Boom, okay. I think they, they'll have to rename the character. I, I think you solved that. If that's the new model, she's definitely going to win. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so what else? What else is new in Warhammer uh, last week? Squigglance. Man, I do really like these models. They're amazing. Look at this guy. He's still around. Old Symbols McGee. Symbols, yeah. So it's a new model, but um, he looks great. God, they just look. It's my favorite way of herding squigs. Banging symbols at them. Symbols. I like squig pipes. Yeah. Um, the, the poker the poker that has the snotling tied to the end like they're all good <laughs> they're all great things I think I love the fact that yeah that there's a hundred different ways of doing it the goblins just haven't decided what's the most efficient yeah yeah they're cool um, I don't actually know anything about it but you know it's like squigs and they're on they're in the news so that's nice um, we've seen a lot of this before like we've, we've seen these witches we've seen these orcs um, oh Oh, our favourite. Oh, Ooh. how could we forget? How could we forget the the uh, the vanilla vanilla comic? Have you read it yet? I have. <laughs> Damn! Every time, I know I can't resist. I can't stop it's myself. Like, do you open your advent calendar early as well? By the by, the tenth of December, have you just eaten the whole chocolate out of the advent calendar? No, Jesus! Like for the first, if I have an advent calendar for the first three days, mm -hmm. I eat my advent calendar chocolate, mm -hmm. and then about two weeks later, I'm like, oh yeah, shit! I didn't eat any of my advent calendar chocolate, <laughs> and I have probably like four or five of them, and then it'll be like a week after Christmas, and I'll be like. Oh yeah, fuck! I just tear the thing open, <laughs> empty the chocolates out. Like, I, so this is more exciting to you than chocolate? Yeah, because that's what you're trying to say. Yeah, because uh, you know this. Ooh, keeps me nice and uh, nice and placid. Can we get this like nice yeah, and make it bigger? Uh? Okay. Should we read it out together as is tradition? Okay. Um, right. So you're like spiky head boy. I'll oh. be the other guy. Um, Can I be both the other guys? Sure. Uh, how does he talk? Food, food is scarce in these lands. I only found a few skullberries. I have one Raptrix egg. Uh, well, I have one wheel of finely aged artisanal cheese. Glorious. Where did you get that? Um, uh, <laughs> we will find find you, cheese stealer, and kill kill everyone you know. Well, before I answer. Can we just eat a bit of cheese? What did you do, Mulch? I like the Skaven. The Skaven are cool. It's kind of fun. Um, then where's the joke, though? Uh, <laughs> but what did he do? If they, we need to see what he did. He stole the cheese. The, the cheese was stolen by these guys. Look, he's in the background running he's away. running off with the cheese, but that's... That's kind of horseplay as far as, as far as like Chaos Warriors are concerned. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the scaven are angry. I don't know. Um, 
So someone did send me uh, uh, this guy's website, and he does another Warhammer comic, but this one, this one doesn't have sign-off from Games Workshop. Oh, is it actually good? Is and it, is it risque? Um. Okay, right. Okay, I don't know if it loads on his own website. Oh, someone like linked it to me, and I looked at it somewhere else. Um, oh, and his check his like Instagram or something, I guess. Uh, the the web comic was. I didn't say in a, a couple of them. I was like, hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Like, so was it just like one one point one out of ten higher than that one? It, they were like they were like they were funnier. Oh, the, these are definitely like stills from Hang it. On, let me type it in because he he calls it. He's got a name, so he calls it uh, Mortel. Uh, what do you call it? Mortal Realms. Oh. Yeah, that's. Realms. I like it because he's called Pierre Mortel. Oh, perfect. And, okay, right. Don't you ever get tired of collecting skulls? <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking about changing careers. Maybe I could become a teacher. Get back to the community, you know? No. Uh, I mean, tibias are cool too. All ribs. <laughs> it's great, man. It's great. <laughs> it is slightly better. <laughs> uh, what about this one? You look ridiculous! <laughs> it's not a face, Dad! Me, I and Kogla understand me! <laughs> like that? I thought it was a funny one. I was that like, funny. <laughs> they're Chaos Dwarves, and he's make, like, that's good. Yeah, it's good times. He's a nice, ridiculous model. Not this one. <laughs> Be honest, is the hat too much? No, oh, it's, uh, it's great! <laughs> See, they're kind of well, funny. These, these ones at least have jokes in. Uh, oh, another day is a faceless cog in the machine. <laughs> oh, poor you. You can switch with me anytime, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> like I could just hear Sydney like chuckling away in there. <laughs> See, uh, these are basically the jokes we make while looking at the yeah, news. Yeah. Uh, wait, I thought our god was the skull guy. <laughs> what? Look, but they're, 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 guys. they're Zeech guys, but but he got skulls by accident. Oh, uh, I see. This one? Oh. Mark, I want to split up. Oh. 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 Oh, poor horrors. Um. Oh, here. Oh, it's not going to load like a nicer version. Well. Grant me your power, Zinch. Ha ah, ha, yes. <laughs> uh, could you tone it down a bit? <laughs> uh, oh, you just have to be a jerk about it. Like, they're ki it's kind of funny. Yeah. They're better. They're better. They're not great. Oh, there's this one. They are better. Well, your majesty, there's a bit of salad stuck in your teeth. It's cause because oh, they eat bodies. It's an eyeball, man. Oh, eyeball. That's the dressing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but I thought they were more fun <laughs> than they are more the fun other than ones. That. That's uh, we oh, we've got this. The map's quite fun. Have you seen that? No. If you go to um, the Warhammer Forty Thousand, has got its own like little law website. Mm -hmm. it shows you like how to play the game and stuff, and you know how. Wait, is this real law play. or our law? Just whatever, whatever these guys are. Um, but you've got like this interactive map where you can like click on different planets. You can go, oh, what, what are the, what are the oh. pyramids about? Oh, look, here's this high fleet. Here's this high fleet. Okay, cool. What are the sisters of battle about? And you're like, oh, okay, this is where the Argent Shroud hang out and what they do. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like it. It's because like when I first started getting into both Warhammer and 40k. I would look at the maps in the army books and try to work out and be like, oh, who are these guys down here? Yeah, oh, the yeah. flesh terrors, sweet. Um, and I find it a really fun way to learn, like who's where and where, what do they do? You know, who is your daddy? What does he do? <laughs> okay, this bloke pretty good. It's fun. 
It's like the Tau, where the weeps live. We're just all in that little corner right there. Little, little blip. Okay. God, everyone's like a bit more... But look, th this is this is the biggest change. Ulthway is over here. The, the law for Ulthway used to be all the other Eldar thought Ulthway were a bit weird and sinister and grim, and they attributed it to the fact that they were so close to the Eye of Terror. Mm -hmm. That's why they were called the Damned. Because right. they, like, they were fucked. Okay. Where's the Eye of Terror, Tom? <laughs> Could you point to it on the map? Is it like here? Is it in here? No, no, it's, it's this right one here, here. Is this not it? No, no, this is it. Up here. Got a fucking long way. <laughs> Look. Oh, but, um... No, it's like a Mario rules, right? Oh, they went you with Pac-Man. You go Pac -Man there, <laughs> and it just comes in. Right. Is that right? Is that how that works in the space map? Uh, you look like a, a flat galaxy, -er, are you? <laughs> <laughs> it all connects, Ben. Wow. Uh, I know craft was move, but they move at sub-light speeds. So it's weird that they've moved so far in like a thousand years. Oh. Anyway. It's pretty cool. But other than that, I thought I liked it. I thought it was a really, really good resource for new new peeps. If you're new like, to 40k and you want to learn where, it out. Where shit is. Yeah. It's a bit weird though that no very few people are on the dark side of the Imperium over here. Because I don't know if you know about this. When the with the tear happened, it blocks the light of the Astronomicon from Earth. Right. So they call this side the Dark Imperium. Because it's hard to navigate the warp because they can't see the Emperor's like glory. Yeah, yeah. But basically no one's over there. It's just the Mordians and where are the space marines at? And the Blood Angels. And that, that's it. Everyone else is on the fun side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, who wants to go on the, uh, the bad side? The bad, bad side. side of the galaxy. Yeah. Stay on the sunny side of the street, guys. Mm. Sucks over there. Okay. Space map. Space map. So when people ask us about, how do I get into the law? I think that's a fun start. Give you a little, little, little taste. Have a look around uh, where everyone lives. Mm. Um, what else we got? Oh, yeah. Right. Bam. Block new block ball. There's two new teams, actually. There's orcs as well. Yeah, so uh, these guys, really into it. Really like them. Um, I'm not sure if they give get, if these are counting as zombies or if they are going to have scarecrows now as a unit. I think they're going to have scarecrows now. That's um, my theory. I kind of like them. They're kind of jokes. Mm. I quite like scarecrows as like a like a spooky horror monster. They're very Halloweeny. Um, the zombies are cool. Although his his trousers are still stuffed with corn. Oh. Why Why would you stuff a scarecrow with corn? That's just going to attract the birds. It's to, like, pad them out, or wheat, or whatever the fuck it is. Like, you like know. hay. Hay. Yeah. Straw. Straw. <laughs> All of those things. But look, he's got fucking straw in his pants, too. Yeah. But he's not even a scarecrow. He just saw the other guys doing it and was like, <laughs> Like that, filling their pants with corn. <laughs> it's a status thing. <laughs> Maybe, um, oh, jeez. Look at him going super thriller. Yeah, but look at his torso. Yeah, he's got like a wooden thing. He's got fleshy legs. arms and legs, but his whole body's made of wood. I think they're taking a lot of liberties with what is a scarecrow slash zombie. I think uh, they've got a weird necromancer running this team. They are all in the thriller dance. They, they do like <laughs> to thriller it up. <laughs> he looks great. Oh, man. Um, he saw the scarecrows and wanted to join in too. So I'm guessing that those are maybe They're ghouls? like the blitzes? Because they used to have... The old team used to have ghouls on it. Yeah. Ghouls, like the werewolves, catches. whites, uh, flesh golems, and zombies. You weren't allowed Ooh. skellies because the werewolves would run off with the skellies' bones all the time, Ben. Oh, that's, that's that, the problem. That was the actual law reason. <laughs> Ooh, spooky ghost. The spooky ghost. I really think they should have put the helmet on the outside. <laughs> it does, no, it's, it's a ghost helmet. But this model just does look like a weird blob. It's kind of yeah. jokes that he's got socks attached to his, like, string. Hmm. Is he allowed to hold the ball? I don't know. It'd be fun if you had, like, these spooky ghosts that just kind of, like, debuffed enemies around them but couldn't uh, like, punch or catch or anything. Well, so, something that we're going to get into, this is going to turn into a little bit ranty. Ooh. Um, it's new and I don't like it. So, I have read some of the spoilers of the new version of Blood Bowl. Ah. And... It is very different. Oh. Like... They changed a lot of the rules. Like, the stats are different. 
Um, now wow. everyone has uh, like a passing skill, which is how good you are at handling the ball, which is completely separate to your agility. Oh. And even like... Well, that opens up more variation in... Um, stat lines, right? You can have people who can play with the ball but not not dodge. Yeah, um, and I haven't seen a lot of like the points values of things, so I'm not sure like how quite that adds up. But it's different, and I hate it uh, because I'm grumpy and old. Okay, fair enough. I'm actually excited by that because I I guess I'm just I don't love blood bowl. Like I kind of like it, and I used to play it a lot, but I'm I'm be more excited about a new version of blood bowl just because it's new and different. So I'm just going to like... Uh, you old, love old Blood Bowl. A big fan of like old Blood Bowl. And I'm just worried that it's going to be Necromunda. Yeah, where it's kind of the same, but just worse. They make a lot of stuff different for the sake of it has to be a new game. So right, yeah. all of those old books, uh, burn gross, them. they don't exist anymore. Yeah, Everything is a new book now. And it's just kind of change for change's sake rather than anything that actually makes the game better. Yeah, and they've gotten rid of lots of the old teams. None of those, like, some of those don't exist anymore. What? Um, like, they killed off one of the elf teams, which, to be honest, there were four elf teams. Yeah. You didn't need four, you didn't elf, need four teams. elf teams. Um, Kemri, Kemri are dead. What? Get out of here. Slan, they're gone. Norse, uh, well, Amazons, yeah, of fuck off. Fair enough. Um, all of those guys. Um, Shit. All gone. Uh, and like they changed like the like the kickoff table. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that I just saw and was just like, I don't know how I feel about this. Mm. Um, I I do kind of want to play it, but you need to see it in action really before you sort of. But I think if I set start. my standards so low, <laughs> yeah, then um, you, you might be pleasantly surprised. Yeah, because I went into New Necromunda kind of hopeful of like, holy shit, there's like really nice new toys. Mm. Um, this could be really good. I love Necromunda. And, and people say that Necromunda is good now that they've released like 14 supplements and like actually finished writing the rules. Okay. And it might be worth us giving it another look. But yeah. Last like, time we played it, like they were literally referencing rules that didn't exist and weren't in the book. Yeah. And they between different books had different points values for things and it was just like a fucking mess. Yeah, really, and really put us bad. right off. And maybe they fixed it now. But I don't know. We, do, we need to check it out. Also, I'd like to... Um, I like to try Necromunda and play it, like go into it and play it as a new game. You like play yeah. it on the board tiles. Don't, you know, because we made boards and tried to play like the campaign, and my whole mindset was this is old Necromunda, but worse. But mm, go into and, it. Try and treat it as a new game. And yeah, do that. And so I think. Um, Maybe the same with Blood Bowl. Yeah, I'm really, like, really hot to give it a go. Because you can still play old Blood Bowl. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I think, you know, uh, still there are people maintaining the living rulebook, and they're just like, nope, like, we might add in some of these teams, mm. but... This uh, Frankenstein's cool. Yeah, I love this guy. This guy looks great. I'm not so sure how you feel about Brain Pipe. Um, well, like, how else is he going to get his brain juice? He's cool, but this guy looks amazing. Mm. This is exactly what I want from, like, a Blood Bowl, Blood Bowl guy. He's, like, got the football armor. He's got, like, the little knuckle duster. Like, ooh, different colored foot. Wood splint, um, yeah, really he's good. cool. Just looks looks great. Like werewolf, wow, he's cool. Okay, like they're not that hard to like fuck up, I guess. Yeah, they're nice. Uh, I'm sure I feel about like the black and green edged armor. I kind of like it. I like the um, I like I really like the black and orange stripes. I mm, think that is very yeah. spooky Halloween. Yeah, hello, yeah, spooky, spooky pumpkin. Man. Um, and the green, pretty cool. Uh, so they did do another team as well. So it isn't yeah. just orcs; it's the black orcs. It's team. specifically black orcs, which is a weird pick. And um, what I like about this team is not only were they like, "Cool, let's make some orcs for Blood Bowl." They also played this other game of "Let's put some fucking random shit on my fucking face." <laughs> now we're gonna look at the models, and every single model, they're like, "Great, this is like a cool-looking orc. Let's put some random fucking shit." On his fucking face. <laughs> right. Okay, you ready Ready to play this game? I'm ready. So, uh, Varagul Chua. Um, very cool. Great. Great boy. I once stepped on a Varagul Chua. Ooh, I don't know if you the old one. He had a punch dagger up in the air, and he had spikes coming out yeah. of every part of his armor. Owie. And it, when I picked my foot up, he dangled out of it and didn't fall off. Uh, and I had to, like, yank him out of my bare uh, foot. I will always remember as Varagul Chua, the orc who destroyed my foot. Just fucking stabbed your foot. <laughs> yeah. Owie. Not the one. Uh, so, the first contender on put some fucking shit 
on my fucking face. Wow, he's just got like nose teeth. Is this guy. Like, yeah. I, I don't need a helmet. <laughs> no. Right, give me fucking spikes coming out of my ears and uh, teeth coming out of my, my nose. Mouth. That's a fun, a weird look. Great, like, he's like a nice enough model anyway. Mm. I'd say like a little bit bland. God, I just fucking hate the head. Mm. I like his hands. You never know the hands are great, hands like, like doing open hands with like separate fingers. Mm -hmm. And like as Black Orcs, they're kind of cool. I, like on paper, this team I actually think would be a lot of fun to play. Because I think it's just like six Black Orcs. Uh, you fill the rest up with Gobbos and then you can have a troll. And oh, okay. It's just so like, it's kind of like playing an ogre team, so less I extreme. I think it's going to be closest to like a slow lizard man team. Right, yeah, because you have like big punchy guys and little runny guys. Yeah, so I, I really wonder how it compares to lizard men mm. because Black Orcs are just slow saurus. Black Orcs are slightly, yeah, and, and, and goblins are just slow skinks. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. a troll is a slow croxical. croxical. That's a good point. Well, maybe they just won't have lizard men in it, and then it's not a problem. <laughs> Wait, didn't they? Or they already did lizards. They did like the really oh, yeah, cute they did. catchers and, and the, the little um, bleh, uh, chameleon. chameleon skink guys. <laughs> well, maybe they'll just change their rules, and then it won't matter. Uh, maybe so, everything you know about Blood Bowl is wrong, Tom. God, I hate it. I hate it. Um, no, Black so, Orcs are the fastest thing now. <laughs> oh, God. Don't do it. <laughs> uh, right. Next contender on Put Some Fucking Shit on My Fucking Face. Yeah. Ooh. This guy. Also, he's a bit sexy. He's gone for like a it's like a, a gag. Yeah. And well, that's how he holds it on. He has to keep his mouth shut to keep the thing stuck to his face. Just, uh, just a big fucking spiky jaw piece. And... Mm. Okay, great. Yeah. What the fuck is that? It doesn't look like anything that's ever been... I don't know. I hate them. I really hate them. Everything else about it's cool, though. Like the big burly arms, the gloves, the veins, the shoulder pads. It's all pretty cool. But I see what you mean. The face the face choices are weird. He, has he nailed those things into his upper lip? Yeah, like... So oh, I don't shit. kind of hate the principle of like some of it. It just... Why aren't they just... If you just put them in cool fucking spiky little, little helmets... They look amazing. Mm. These weird jaws. With bare hats. They this guy. At least that looks something like a helmet. Oh, it's more like Bane. Yeah. Like, Hello. what is this? Like, I'm here to find Blood Bowl. What the hell? What is this thing? <laughs> he's got the Bane and then he's got chin spikes. <laughs> yeah. Ah, there you go. That's a thing. Right. Put this fucking shit on my fucking... Like, what is it? <laughs> it's just like a... God, I... they're just a mess. <laughs> I just really, I really don't like it. It's definitely a choice, isn't it? Just everything off the top of the head and on the front of the head instead. Yeah, because they, they never had um, Thick Skull as a skill. If they had Thick Skull in the game, I'd be like, yeah, cool. Don't wear a fucking helmet. Mm. But they don't. Maybe they do now, Tom. Well, maybe they do. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you're right. God, just what is this? But I'd, I'd be really tempted to get this team and then just do head swaps, head swaps. on all of them. Yeah. Um, Let's see the gobbos. So we use gobos. The gobos. So the gobos. They do lightly also play. Put some fucking shit on my fucking face. Like boom. This guy. Little yeah, tooth guard. guard. Okay. <laughs> this helmet is. She just in his pants. He's <laughs> like the important thing is my my low my jaw is safe. My lower jaw. <laughs> uh, but he's kind of cute. He's this guy's cute. kind of cool. I quite like his helmet. Yeah. Um, I like his gloves. Uh, although it feels like he could only look up, like as of the visor. Um, like this guy. Did you ever see the movie Saw? No. So in the in the movie Saw, there's like a there's one of the devious traps where there's kind of like like a plate that goes into your mouth, mm -hmm. uh, or like two plates that go in, and it's like a like a mouse trap. If you don't solve the sneaky saw puzzle in time, the mouse trap just like rips your head open Ooh. Uh, via these like plates going into your mouth. I feel yeah. like this gobbo with one giant like thing attached to his chin and one attached to like the top half of his uh, yeah i mean you could grab his nose kick his lower jaw and, and split his head in half yeah it feels <laughs> just like a real bold choice <laughs> yeah. um not sure how i feel about oh, it oh but i like the pose look how he's running like his feet aren't even touching the ground it's all through the hand I mean, yeah that's going to snap but it's very dynamic yeah yeah the gobbo's the gobbo's are much cuter this guy's kind of fun, a bit more armoured. Yeah, That's I probably wouldn't cool. have painted that white, though. I might have gone for a yellow. Yeah, yellow would look look cool. Like, big white pointy hats is not the look. Um, <laughs> yeah, but he, his pose does remind me of Puggy Bacon Breath. Yeah, this Remember classic him? Puggy Bacon Breath pose. Uh, 
Not piggy, bacon on breath, no. Puggy bacon breath, blood bowl. Isn't it just bacon with a C? Here he is. Yeah. Aww. Hey, that guy. He's cool. He was like the best halfling player in Blood Bowl. He was really good. For a halfling player, yeah. For a, well, yeah, for a halfling player. Um, I, had, I love that little guy. Yeah, he's great. Old Puggy. And uh, yeah, it really reminds me of that. That just like, you know, very sensible pose. Um, he's kind of cool. This guy put some fucking shit on my fucking face. What is that? Like a big... Beard guard with a little grill. I like, think I can forgive it the goblins because they're just copying the orcs. I guess. But Do you know what I mean? They're like, like I want to look a like... terrible bit of design. Yeah, but that's gobbles for you, isn't it? Me... They think it's good. <laughs> so... um, also, I am worried that this is going to be a thing in the game. Um, yeah, it looks like a tyranid. What the fuck is that? It's like a face hugger with big goofy eyes. Mm, Googly eyed face hugger. Nice. Um... A little Varg Gulchua, just in case yeah. he's actually got a ghoul on him now. Yeah, so, like, I don't mind that he's got tusks. The this bottom jaw thing, because he is still wearing a bit of a helmet, mm. and that looks very black orky. And he hasn't got anything nailed into his nose. Yeah, um, he looks great. I like the impaled ghoul on his shoulder pad. I feel like it's still alive and talks to him. <laughs> with <laughs> yeah. kind of jokes. But he's he's fun. Yeah, he looks good. Uh, and the snotling team. I'm very tempted oh, by doing a snotling team. These guys. One of them's on stilts. Yeah, I need to see what the list. The list is like, um, but yeah, man, like a lot of the rules changes that they've made, there's so much stuff in there that looking, I was just like, oh God, like this feels, this feels bad. Um, like when you level up now mm -hmm. for, uh, for like very, very cheap, you can just roll just a random skill, uh, that from any of your like basic skill lists, um, Oh, you don't, okay. like, pick your skill. Right. So um, you can just go, okay, I can level up for 10 experience and pick my skill, but if I leave for 4 experience, I could, like, pick, just take a random agility skill. I just get a random, a random skill. Yeah. Um, mm. And I'm like, okay, right. Pros and cons. Mm. Pros, it means maybe you're going to see some more... More variety. More dynamic teams. Yeah. It isn't going to be... Block these, and like, dodge block for dodge everyone. Teams. Um, yeah, because I, I did get bored of everyone always picking the same skills. Yeah, like there were... Not all skills are created equal in Blood Bowl. Exactly. Some skills are very good and some skills are total trash and you would never take them. But that means if you are rolling just randomly, if you randomly roll the good ones, mm. a... How about you just make... Make them all roughly the same power level? Like, I feel like... Make just Yeah, make some useful or have garbage yeah. skills make that the... cost less. Yeah, um, yeah, have like tiers and spend less XP on shitter skills. I think would be... Would that make would make a lot more of sense. sense. I'd be more into that. Um, mm. But then it kind of like goes along like that. Like for like 20 experience, you can buy a random skill from any of your secondary trees. But for 40 experience, you can choose a skill from any of your secondary trees. Oh, wow. Um... And then for like a hundred experience, uh, you can roll randomly on just a stat increase. Oh, okay, but a hundred experience, that's a lot. And it, like before how you like level up, you could, if you're offered a stat increase, mm. you would go, it'd be like, oh, right, do you want um, plus one uh, movement or plus one armor? Mm -hmm. Would be like the, the choice that you're making. And um, if you don't want either of those, you just take a skill instead. Mm -hmm. um, but now you have to s spend the points and you just get a random thing. So you're like, great, my tree man. Yeah, plus one agility. Like, uh, oh, well, this is terrible. Taking four skills um, for the price of this. Or my snotling, who's now plus one strength. Yeah. That's really, not, that's not a useful. really expensive snotling. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. I feel... Feel weird. Yeah. Feel weird about it. Um, I don't. I don't know. Um, well, we'll have to wait and see. We'll wait and it's see. Just rumors at this point, right? When's it actually coming out? Well, no. Uh, there's literally been like photos of the books. Have, oh, right. Wow. Um, like had had this stuff. Um, so I don't know when they're actually coming out, but I'm guessing sometime soon. Mm. Fair there, enough. new season. Is 
have a date. Uh, doesn't say. No. Okay. We'll wait and see. Um, I did. I did some hobbying. I um. Tell I, me more. I got some of the Blade Guard veterans. Oh yeah. From um, Indominus, I found them on eBay. Mm. Um, went too expensive, and um, I converted them up. I gave them my like Dark Angel hooded helmets. That's cool. Gave them like Deathwing storm shields instead of the ones they come with. Oh, nice. Um, annoyingly, they're like those easy build models, so the shoulder pads are like molded on. Oh, so I had to like uh, clip the shoulder pad off, but not too much because I had to mount my like, own shoulder pad on. Okay. It's a bit of a fiddle. Yeah, that but sounds like a faff, but not the worst not thing the in the, of the world. world. Um, and yeah, they're looking great. They've got the, they've got the shoulder pad, they've got the Deathwing shield, they've got the hoods. I haven't painted them yet. But I'm quite excited. They're really, really nice models. Oh man, holy shit! They look like, great. Can't wait to see them. Get some photos and show them off. And you know, before I had my guy with sword and shield, who I um, I used to count as a company champion, <clears> but he was like little boy space marine yeah. hanging around with all the Primaris. Well, now because there's actually rules for like captain with sword and shield, I can just use him as a proper Primaris now and not have to worry about him being like little boy, little boy following around his the big little friends. boy with his big brothers. Um, <laughs> holy shit, that sounds really good. Yeah, it's quite exciting. Let's see. And I even read the rule book. I bought the rule book too. What? I know. Probably some kind of book nerd. I'm some kind of book nerd. And it's making me, I'm quite tempted to try uh, the crusade thing. Crusade actually sounds fun. Is that the playing points uh, escalating? Yeah, like um, it's basically just like a campaign rules where you have like um, a thousand point list and you can play smaller games, but you have to pick it from your okay. thousand points. And every unit gets like experience. And if it dies, it has to roll on a chart of like bad stuff happens to it. Oh, that's kind of cool. And you can spend experience to like get rid of get rid of those bad things. Oh, shit. Um, so it's kind of like nec old Necromunda style-y. Wow. Um, and there's loads of different scenarios, which is the main thing that excited me about it was all the different missions. Right, They're yeah, because suddenly that makes it a lot more fun than just kill fest or... Yeah, like when you pick a mission, you, the mission obviously has ways to get victory points, but then you also pick three of your own secondary objectives from a list of like 20. Ooh. And very rarely does actually killing stuff get you any points. Okay, oh, um, that's kind of cool. But you can like, because you can see the enemy's army before you pick your secondary missions, um, if you think it's a bad matchup, you can just go, okay, well, I'm going to pick the destroy, like, oh, shit, I'm up against Tom's tanks, and I don't have a great deal of anti-tank weapons, well, I'll pick the objective that means I get extra victory points for killing things with over 12 wounds. Or oh, shit, wow. And try to make it so that when I do actually kill one, I get, like... Yeah, yeah, like double, double victory points. Mm. Oh, man, yeah, that sounds kind of good. And, um, yeah, the new scenarios seem to actually make it, like, a bit more of a game rather than just lining up and shooting each other. Oh, my God. And scenery actually blocking line of sight as well. What? Scenery blocks line of sight now, Tom. If you build a piece of scenery over five inches high, you can't. it doesn't matter if it's got windows and you can see, like through three windows to a thing. It actually, actually blocks line of sight. It's madness. That's madness, man. So I'm tempted to play some little 500 to 1,000 point games and try it out, see how it goes. Yeah, I'd give that a go. I'd be into that. Yeah. I hope you like fighting tanks. Oh, yeah. Did you did you get three of those multi-gun guys? <laughs> no. <'Cause laughs> they, they, a, I don't really like the look of them. B, they don't really fit my Dark Angels. <laughs> like, if I had Salamanders, I probably would. Um, and see, they, they look fucking broken as shit. And I've already got 15 um, of the plasma guns. Oh, yeah, jeez, the <laughs> plasma guns. That's kind of shooty anyway. Yeah. Wow. Uh, pal, so does that conclude? I think we've covered all the new things in Warhammer last week. Oh, my God. So many things. So many things. Should we play some Total Wars now? Well, actually, play some games. Play some games. Uh, Get this show on the road. Oh, my God. So um, before we actually get the show on the road, I just want to do a shout out for uh, what we're doing later. At 8 o'clock, we're going to play some RimWorld because you might not have heard of this. There's a thing. There's a thing here, Tom, on the front page of Steam. What? I, I, I did a thing that is on Steam. But you made RimWorld. This one here. Look, the Yogscast Tiny Teams Festival. Oh, oh my God. God. Celebrating amazing games made by like just three people or less. Holy shit. Um, you can see, like, Rhythian was playing Hollow Knight. Bree and Rhythian were having a race. Who could speedrun Hollow Knight the fastest? Oh, uh, that's kind of cool. Who won? Um, I feel like Rith my Spoiler alert. Rithian. Rhythian was going to win, and he was trying to do, like, a cheesy... Not, well, not cheesy, but, like, a cool, you might not have heard of it, like, glitch 
something. Okay. But then when he went to do it, he didn't have the right item. Oh, fuck. To do it. So then he had to backtrack to go get the, the item that he'd forgotten to get. Oh, and so it was like a tortoise and hare situation. Okay, of like, that's kind of... Bree was like steady, 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 steady. And Rhythm was trying to do this like sneaky, sneaky okay. sprint finish. But then he had to double back and it got really close. I don't want to spoiler who wins that one. Um, so yeah, we've got our own, all our games, like published by Yorkshire Games and made by Tiny Teams. So they're in there too. Um, we've got the, the Tiny Champions. These are like big games that everyone's heard of and know are good. These are like classic games made by small teams. Yeah, and yeah. then we've got a whole bunch of new ones you've probably never heard of, which are all cool. We, we had like over 200 entries and we narrowed it down to like 50 of them. And these are like our picks. And a lot of them are on sale right now. Look at that, that's 75% off. Um, loads of different genres. Check it out. And we're gonna, so we're gonna celebrate this by playing Brimworld, one of our favorite games made by a single man. Yeah, holy shit. Um, um, come eight o'clock. Boom. Check it out. So yeah, eight o'clock, we'll be switching over from Warhammer to uh, Rimworld. But maybe there's a little uh, little modded twist on we, that. We may have been able to sneak some Warhammer into our Rimworld. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. If Rimworld itself is not enough to entice you in. Maybe some sexy Vermeer. There might be some sexy Vermeer turning up <laughs> in the Rimworld. Um, but Rimworld should excite you because Rimworld, very good. It's a very good game. Um, but... That's for later. So Warhammer right now. Yeah. Um, right, what the fuck are we doing? We're at war with a lot of people here. Obviously, we're at war with Chaos. Um, we're at war with the Orcs, who seem to have conquered like the entire old world. They're rank three. Ooh. Um, we're also at war with the Dark Elves. Who? Um, wow, didn't the Dark Elves have they had, way more territory before? They did, yeah. They've lost a lot of ground. Oh my god. Oh, but Clan look at that. Moors. Clan Moors. What the fuck? 72 territories. That is so much territory. Like, what's he even got? Skaven Blight and, like, who knows? Everything. Well, I guess you can't see Clan Moors territory, right? Yeah. Um, god, those elves better, like, get into gear. Holy fuck. Okay, well, it's us, us and the elves versus Clan Moors, then, I guess. But before we can worry about that, we've got to worry about. This chaos invasion. Yeah, that's a lot of chaos. For anyone who doesn't know, we um, we put the randomized start location mod on. And we're playing Cetra, and we started up here in um, Mexico. Um, and we've conquered a lot of lizardmen over here. We're best friends with the humans. And now chaos have come to destroy us all. Oh, God, have we got random... This random guy here. There's a ghoul in the way. Uh, okay, just fucking shitloads of ghouls. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, we don't have any movement left to deal with that. Okay, um, we're not at war with him, are we? Oh, yeah, no. he had conquered a random territory, and we were like, oh, he's just a pleb army, let's take his territory. Oh, jeez. Turns out he had another stack. Oh, well. jeez. Um, I guess everyone's moved now, so we'll just hit and turn. Okay. In. Um, now, we have some very generous Donatos. Oh. Um, uh, who have uh, Denise did. And I'll just give him a read. Uh, Strange Mutant. Uh, Denise, five bucks. There. Thank you very much, Strange Mutant. And they say, Howdy, Tom and Ben. Glad to see my favorite Bone Boys back in action. Mm. I was wondering, what do y'all think is the largest fantasy universe in terms of law? I recently watched a video and learned there's nearly 30 canon Halo books. And the lore is massive. Holy shit. Really? Is it just like... Then the Master Chief shot all the more aliens. <laughs> and then Master Chief killed these aliens too. And then he was shot, but he was okay. And Master Chief then killed these aliens. And then he went to a different planet and he flew the... Oh, arc. maybe it's all Cortana fan fiction. Oh, is it all Cortana fan fiction? <laughs> is it all just fucking... Oh my God. <laughs> no, I mean, holy shit. I had no idea the Halo lore was so, so broad. Wow. And vast. I mean, 40K has probably got the most individual pages of published material about it, right? Like, because they've, they've got like, Horus Heresy is like 70 books alone or 60 books or something like that. Oh my god. Let alone all the 40K stuff. Um, I mean, the old Star Wars e expanded universe was massive as well. Yeah, that had like a lot of books. Um, Yeah, I feel like 40k must be up there. 
But then there's probably some fantasy universe we've never heard of that has even more. Fish wars. Fish wars. Like maybe magic or D&D &D or something like that. Um, Tom, you need to fight the dino party. Dino <laughs> party of God. We don't have a lot of anti-large. No, we ain't got really any anti-large. Um, that feels like a big L. You must try. Maybe you can like break their morale. Because the dinos get sad when they don't have friends with them. Yeah. But there's going to be a lot of dinos. Well, you can try it. But I think... I think four carnosaurs are going to be really bad. Yeah. Yeah, they are. <laughs> why, why are we fighting these guys? Well, they attacked us. Oh, like, no. Fucking Moo Kip. Oh. Like, we're trying to fight the Hordes of Chaos. I thought that was your job, Slan. Moo Kip. Yeah, get, why are you attacking us? Go get on the fucking case. Kill Chaos. God, that army would be really good against Chaos Warriors. Actually, wait. You probably saw they had, like, three units of Chosen with Halberds. I was like, not today. Let's go and eat some skelly bones. Ugh. Jeez. <laughs> Jesus. Um. Uh, well, Chrome has donated $10 and says, Tomasaurus Rex, hey. an alien that killed dinosaurs, Ben. Oh. Just want to just share some um, paleo art by Mark Witten. He's also done deep ones and tripods. Just scroll down in the link. Paleo art? Is that like that dino mean? art? Dino art, I guess. Is this going to be, like, erotic? Of course. It's the only way paleos know how to roll. <laughs> Um, oh, cool! Let's get drawn some, drawn some dinos. They look really cool. Uh, what? The links in chat. Links in right. chat. You can see it for yourself. He's done all sorts of weird stuff. So look at these deep ones. Oh, apparently we're flickering again. Flickering? What the fuck? That's okay. We'll we'll fight the fight the bottle. Well, yeah, we'll fix it. We'll, we'll yeah, we have to go on a break to fix it. So uh, I guess we'll finish this battle. Also, like when uh, when we were streaming last time, it started flickering after after dark. everyone had left after yeah. dark. But then it just kind of like stopped after a while. That's true. Maybe we just let it chill. So I think just you know let it let it chill and see how it goes. Well, thanks for that, Chrome. Unfortunately, they did put feathers on some of the dinosaurs. What? So, uh, that I'm out. Wow. I'm out of that. Feathers. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, dude. Very Thank cool. you very much. Uh, Phil, aka Thunder UK, says, Tiddly dee, tiddly dee, tiddly tom, widdly tom, tommy tom, tom, and biddly bee, boodly bee, boo bee, boo bing bang, walla balla bing bang, bolly body ben. Can you ask Dave Lister how his job interview went? Um, did he drink too much wine? Question oh, mark. yeah. Love fuck. Him. Did you drink too much wine? <laughs> yeah. Tell us. Tell us. Are you in chat? Are you in chat, Dave Lister? Please. Share. Share with us. Because you were, you, were, you, were, you were dealing with dealing it with it by drinking heavily, which we advised against. Like, don't I want to that. that know like, how that strap panned out. Feels like the bad, the bad times. Um... Hey! He fucking fires his like shotgun at me. Oof. That's frog juice, that is. Oh shit, Dino's after you. Oh, it's like the bit where it's chasing the jeep. Yeah. Oh my god. He's <laughs> just looking in the rear view mirror going, Oh, oh no! We were looking the way too busy looking in the rear view mirror, we didn't see the tree there. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Wait, something else is getting attacked this while I'm looking. Oh shit, my other chariot's got chomped. Ben, why did you distract me with cool T Rex scenes? Um, bad times. Okay, big dino. They do move in herds. Uh, the word underscore donates <laughs> and says Friend, I'd like to have Tom. And man, I'd like to be Ben. Mm. Oh. Did you guys ever play much Gorka Morka? Yes. It had some of the best lore nugs, like the Digger Knobs, a faction of humans who paint themselves green and worship orcs. 
communist grots for the revolution. And I fucking loved Gorkamorka. I played it so much. I converted like three different gangs for it. I got super into Gorkamorka. Yeah, man. Gorkamorka. God, loved it. it and for so some good. reason, I didn't care that it was like super random and unbalanced. Yeah, it's it was, it was orcs. Because it was just fun orc times. Like you'd go to the, um, one of your guys would get injured and you'd send him to the pain boy. Yeah. And he'd just come out like worse than he went in. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, and the uh, doc would be like, the... he's got a brain injury, and he's just like, I've chopped your arm off and replaced it with a spike. <laughs> yeah, I'll well, give you the, the iron hook, um, <laughs> yeah. which is like a big, heavy, slow piece of shit weapon. And you're like, ah, whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you'd send your gun in to get like a custom blaster job, Ooh. and it would just like turn into this like ridiculous three inch range hand cannon. Yeah, like, God, it was, it was great. And, you know, your vehicles, they kind of like pick up like personality traits um they get like a weird rattle <laughs> yeah. and you're like shit you know that's just the the rattling buggy you know just gotta deal with it um i remember i'll always remember i had like a buggy they couldn't really carry many people because it was like the old old buggy but didn't have any like floor space but um i built like this crow's nest like a mast with a the crow's nest at the top and i put my grot at the top with frag stick bombs nice and um he could just see down at everyone from his like crow's nest, just lobbing bombs all day long. He was good fun. That's like pretty cool. So I had my uh, I used to play, I played like basically every faction. Mm -hmm. um, but one of my favorites was playing Rebel Grots because they were the super underdogs. Like mm -hmm. you had such a hard time. They had they like normal. They were cutters, weren't they? Their little buggies had um, sails. Yeah, yeah. And and no engines, to, so yeah, the wind yeah. would only blow in like one direction. Um, but the, the build that I had was, it was my big lugger, mm -hmm. uh, which is like your main uh, vehicle. Yeah, the uh, only thing with an engine in the yeah. car. Well, it's not even an engine. It's like a wind-powered like crank thing. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, that would go up to, because generally someone's going to have like a main truck. Mm -hmm. um, that would kind of come up alongside someone's main truck. And all of my um, snots mm -hmm. would jump into the truck. Mm -hmm. Uh, as many as you can possibly get in there. Mm. And every single one was armed with a grenade. <laughs> oh my God. And the trick was that um, you you can use grenades as a club if you want to. Oh, yeah, because they're like um, stick bombs. Yeah. Right? They're like the potato masher grenades. Um, but on the roll of a one, it detonates, mm -hmm. hitting the target and yourself. <laughs> but you don't target the orcs in the back. You yeah. target the truck itself. Oh, you just try to bash it with grenades. And you're hoping that one detonates because it is more likely they're going to blow it up by hitting it than actually trying to throw them. <laughs> well, because the Rebel Grots are so bad, they'll just miss when they throw a grenade. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, oh, my God. So they all go in. You get, like, six Grots in there. The imagery of six Grots all just hammering away with... <laughs> stick with bombs. Stick um, bombs. <laughs> one of them will, like, blow up the truck, and generally that's going to throw everyone out of it. <laughs> yeah. um, and then the three cutters are coming up directly behind mm. where because uh, they have blades like ramming blades on right. they're really good at running stuff over and if you're prone you cannot make Can't a dodge, dodge roll yeah. and so then that would run over <laughs> orcs, grots, <laughs> muties <laughs> anything that has come off of the truck and uh, take take them all out oh wow so did you have to just buy six new grots every game? <laughs> almost guaranteed yes <laughs> um, but it was like such a good like it worked really, really well. Um, <laughs> yeah, it had effective. this like battle formation. Um, absolutely loved playing with them. Oh. Um, really, really high turnover of um, of goons. And yeah, like the lugger that gets to like ride off, with the, um, <laughs> yeah, ride off to glory with the leader. Yeah, like uh, they're having a great time. Um, but everyone else, yeah. Not oh, oh shit! One of the ch the chariots got caught by the by the T Rex. Yeah. What's he gonna do? <laughs> like. It was these guys. They got distractoed. No, the T-Rex oh, no, ones. That's, they oh, uh, okay. That's good. Um, but everyone else had super sad time. Oh, shit. Look, that T-Rex is nearly dead. Can the bone giant snipe him? Uh, possibly. Cause that's oh, the... yeah. He is shooting it. Oh, okay, good. Bom Boom! Wow. <laughs> Sit down, son. Got him. Because that's the uh, ideal situation here is that we actually wipe a couple of these dinos out. Yeah, I and think I can kill a couple of the dinos. Because if we leave, you know, they'll just heal if we don't kill them. Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, dinos. Fuck. Feral, feral dinos. I needed bird patrol. 
Um, Dave Lister donates fifteen dollars. Thank you, dude. Very much. <gasps> and he says, "Tom Ben, I got the job." Hey, holy shit! He did it, despite turning up drunk. <laughs> Lister, well done. Is it better to be super hungover or a bit drunk? I like get, a if bit you get drunk. to the point where you're like, "Oh, if I go to bed now, I will be hungover," but if I if I drink a bit more in the morning and hair of the dog it, I'll be a bit drunk. Yeah, man, I'd say a little bit drunk is always going to be better. Better um, than mega hungover. Yeah, because you know you might just be a little bit more enthusiastic. Um, yeah, you'll have some energy at least, rather than yeah. just being like, "Oh, please stop asking me questions." Fuck! <laughs> I hate everything. You know what? Fuck it! I just don't want this job. Please, <laughs> yeah. let me just go back to bed. <laughs> uh, what would you say is your greatest weakness? Oh, uh, wishing you would die. Yeah. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Needing to sleep right now. Oh, uh, he says. Um, the interview was only three and a half hours long. Jesus, and dude. The, and the other interviewees showed off their 40k models. What? What? What was this job for? What was your job for? What, why did they bring models? Explain. <laughs> like, I'm very confused. Sadly, I never got to ask how they felt about land speeders. Oh. Starts in September. Thanks for the encouragement, you two, and chat. Oh, shit. Well, if you don't know, then just don't bring it up. Never, never mention Arcan retcons land. or Arcan land again. God, take this to tell me, tell me more. Um, Fell Forgeless has donated twenty-five dollars. Shit, Forgeless, thank you very much. That's very, generous. That's very cool. Thank you, dude. And he says, um, Headless Skeleton Tom and Budget Replacement Skull Ben. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no question for today. I hope the two of you are well. Throw my bones at the enemy for glory. Uh, we will do. We'll do our best. Come on. A few more arrows. Uh, denim and lead. It's donated four dollar twenty. Hey, thank and you says, so much. Flom, Flint. I just started streaming recently, and it's a blast. If you two had to make a Warhammer-based game show, what would it be? Can I get some skeletons named Skelly Rats? Skelly. Oh, no, sorry, Skelly Cats. Skelly Cats. We'll do that. Try, try and get you in if we can. Warhammer-based game show. Uh, just, uh, man, just fucking Time Commanders. Time Commanders but with the Warhammer. Ooh. Hello, I'm Jerry from Slough. I work at the Greggs. <laughs> I'm here to lead the Skaven forces. <laughs> that, that's what I want. But, but do you want people who don't know anything about Warhammer to do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're there. Like, Are we um, like the historians? Yeah, yeah. Like, do you remember? You get really overexcited. Was it Dr. Arak Nusfucker? Yeah. It's like, and then the gold cavalry comes round the flank, and they've got like the blocks, and he's just like, pow! They just they charge the Roman lines. Blam! I remember and him doing that. He was talking about Roman legionnaires throwing their pilum, and he had like a box of like toothpicks, yeah. and he just started like throwing them really violently all over the just table. Loved it. it. Was like such like a charismatic character. Um, oh. Really. Really cool, really cool person. And that's our job now. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, um, but but I think we have to have like mega prizes to make it like people really commit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want like, because you won, you've won a speedboat, <laughs> a jet ski, a washing machine, like that kind of thing. Have like, you know. <laughs> Not like uh, 10,000 pounds. Oh, I guess you could have 10,000 pounds. But I think like, you know, uh, like physical prizes, much more fun. This widescreen TV. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we have to, every time, even if they lose, do we have to wheel it all out? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. You have to show it off and get the you know the uh, the glamorous assistants to like let's show them what they could have won, and she like wheels out all this like cool gear. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Perfect. I'm into that. Uh, oh, was there one carnosaur left? I think. And if they lose, they just get like. A really nerdy thing that only um, Games Workshop fans would appreciate. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. really tease people. You know, you 
<laughs> like, it's well, like you a get this commemorative set or something. No, 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 like a limited edition model that you can like only get by being on the show. You get <gasps> this bust of Horace Luprakal. Yeah, yeah, And all the yeah, nerds yeah, like at home that. are going, oh, I want it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds but, amazing. But like the estate agent from Manchester is like, what the fuck is this? What, what even is this? Why is it so spiky? Why is there a tube up his nose? Like, why, also, I, I I'm not putting this on my bookshelf. But there has to be a clause that they're, they're not allowed to sell it on eBay or yeah. something like that. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, they can be sued. Yes, um, they have to sign us. like a, a, con a contract. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just to wind people up. Yeah, just to upset the nerds. And we'll give it rules in the game as well. Oh, even better. It's amazing. It's like the best model. Okay, I love that. Very much. Very yeah. cool. It's the model of the Emperor. <laughs> you can Ooh, only yeah, use the it. limited edition Emperor model. <laughs> and it does have rules. It sounds yeah. so good. That would upset so many people. Yeah. And no proxies ever allowed. No proxies. No, not the Emperor. That would be heresy. <laughs> yeah. Come on, are these arrows going to actually kill this guy? Nice. Uh, Very cool. Uh, oh, God. Okay, that's our game show. Yeah. Bam. I'm in. Um, Imperator Benny donates fifteen dollars. Hey, and says um, Imperator Benny, Executive Heat Complainer Tom. That's me. And first Aircon Wanter Ben. My sun bleached bones are ready to serve in your undead legions. Very. Perfect. That's what we need. We need willing bones. Um, and Knights Entertainment says, I hope you're well. What models do you suggest uh, to start my plastic crack addiction? E I.e. general, army, hero, or specific sub-game models? It's like a unit of troops. Yeah, just get like a unit of five or ten of like the basic troops for your army. And give them a go. Because then, you know, you'll learn a lot painting those. And then when you come to paint your like army leader, that will be one of the better models in your army. Yeah. Because that's the ones that people look closely at. Yeah. Whereas yeah, yeah, yeah. some plebs at the back, you can still keep using them, even though they won't look as good as your later models, because they're just some normal foot soldiers at the back. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. Uh, 10 out of 10, super agree. Um, oh, fuck. Like, if you're really hot and you're like, bam, I would like Tau, the cool, I think they're the coolest, and it, you like them because you like battle suits, fuck it, buy. Buy a battle suit. Buy some battle suits, or if you like tanks, or buy a tank and. Yeah, whatever gets you excited about that army. Yeah, yeah. I think, like, you know... Um, but if you do get a box of normal troops, then at least that's already a force you can use in Kill Team. Yeah, you want to start true. playing straight away, just Very like true. five or ten guys. Um, Man, fucking GG, Tom. You said you were going to lose this. You smashed them. Look at all those dead dinos. Look at all the dead skellies, though. <laughs> that's their job. <laughs> we lost a lot of skeletons. Um, wow, it really just came down to the heroes and the giant at the end. <laughs> I mean, the, man, the archers. The archers did such work. Archers, I think, feel like they're better in combat than skeleton warriors. I imagine they're probably comparable. Say, so, basic skellies. God, my poor boys. Oh, one of the... Man, I killed that fucking... That, yeah, I saw you shoot at it. At the end. Fucking cheats. Mookip. I'm glad you're dead, Mookip. You're a cheat. Um, can we get some Fs, please, for Orankas? Hellrod, Hel Hermod Hellrider. Mr. Bernstein, not a Skeleton Warriors. Mr. Butts. Uh, Mr. Faustine. Urgu. Lady Felicity. DJ Monkey. Totally not Adam. And Tig Old Biddies. Tig Old Biddies. Oof. They, gave, they laid down their lives valiantly. I think it was DJ Monkey who got chased by the dino. And, That's um, cool. Got a kill <laughs> before they went down. Oof. Uh, no one really got many kills, but I guess that's because it was mostly single model dinos. So all of these kills are like proper legit kills. Like he, this giant probably killed three fucking dinos. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he sniped three dinos. He was pretty good. Oh, um, also, I think maybe he sniped the slam, possibly. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, yeah. You know, oof. Oof, wow. This guy, the Choddy Nod Wobbling. Very nice. Good kill him. Um, we need money. Good work, everybody. Well done. Well, we're going to take a little break to fix the flicker. Well done. Um, yeah, we we got to take a quick break. Um, we'll be back very soon. Um, 
Yeah, holy shit. Uh, we'll be reading your messages, um, playing some Warhammer, doing all that good shit. Um, I hope you guys are having fun, and we'll be back in like five, five, ten minutes. Um, see you soon. See you soon. Ben! We're back. We are back. We're back, man. Guess what's just happened? We have died. Alfarian's dead. Uh oh, who killed him? Uh, Grom? Question mark? How is. When we see this place begin to get taken over by Skaven slash orcs, mm. we're going to have to worry. Although, um, Teclis is barreling into the old world, which is good. Is he? Oh, wow. You're like, yeah, he's landed in um, Britonia. And he's smashing up. This is probably Clan Moors, right? Anything that's a ruin. Yeah. Probably Clan Moors. God, once we've dealt with chaos, we might oh even God. have to go and assist. Look at this. Wins. Both, both Teclis and Tyrion are both just smashing through. We might need to help them. We might do. But we got chaos invasion to worry about. We're the we're the bone that guards the realms of men, Tom. The bone that guards the realms of men. Look, we got this guy to worry about. Yikes. Um Little horses. King DJ Monkey, I don't think you're ready for this. You don't have a lot of boys. Get King Drop Bear up to like help you out. Um I was hoping we'd be able to like lay an ambush. Oh, jeez. We can't. We just have to stand here. Um, Feels bad. Okay, well, let's just... Um, you can get some spears instead of... S s well, I'm sure Nekaharan warriors yeah, are better yeah, than probably, yeah. spearmen, even against Cav. But we can teleport in... Some other things? Question mark? I thought we lost a shitload of Tomb Guard. Are they into some other army? But in this army, I thought we lost a load. No, I think there was... Maybe we were over our limit. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I uh, so we've got some more Donatos. Uh, like one from Koroschenko. Koroschenko. Uh, Ten bucks and he say, still mad at Pixar Connected Universe Theory Tom. <laughs> and bad at sex, Ben. <laughs> That's us. Uh, you, you nailed it. You nailed the two most defining points <laughs> about either of us. Uh, they say, no questions or comments for today. Oh. Just some money for my favorite yachts. Please name a unit. Scallop. Scary or Wellingtons. <laughs> um, uh, P.S. King of the Hill is the best anime. Ooh. Um, How are we defining anime now? Oh. God dang it, Bobby. <laughs> Man, big. I like King of the Hill. I only ever watched it when it was like on telly, like just live. So I've seen like such a sporadic mix of that show. And I, um, I never really understood the appeal. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it either. I was just like, this is... Well, yeah, I when I was younger and it used to come on and would randomly see episodes, mm. I definitely was like, this is like really boring Simpsons. Mm. Like, where's all the jokes? <laughs> um, where's the like the goofums? But I think it was like maybe like last last year. It's so like an acquired fine wine. Did like go through and watch like all of it, and just yeah, absolutely fell in love with it. It was really really good. Mm -hmm. Big big fan. Um, <coughs> uh, pretty cool. Just great. It's pretty good times. Um, uh, so, recommend. Highly recommend. No, thank you. Thank you, Koroschenko. Thank you. Uh, Hesu Pulse thinks five bucks, and he say, Screaming Skull Catapult Operator Ben! <laughs> and Screaming Skull Catapult Ammo Tom! Ooh! Uh, after your death, would you like to be raised from the dead? Mm. And live another life as a smiling, fun-loving skeleton boys who like to party? Is it still me? Yeah. Is he just a robot controlled by his necromancer's will? Or is it just my body comes back and likes to party? Yeah. I'd be a party skeleton. Well, you wouldn't know. Like... Wait, no, but if you were, like, sentient. Okay. Would you Would you come back? I, yeah, I definitely would come back. But is it kind of weird? Like, okay, um, Heinrich Kemmler's there. Mm-hmm. And he's having, you know, oh, it's my 597th birthday. 
the other necromancers there, mm. fucking Zacharias the Ever Living, mm -hmm. is like, Heinrich, Heinrich, I've got you a special party, a special treat. Bring in the party skeletons, and we <laughs> we have to come in, and we're like, <laughs> and the, we just oh have to God. dance because can't we murder them when they sleep and be free, free of their evil magic? Skeletons. I think the first thing they do is they put on, you know, they uh. What spells to our ankles? <laughs> what, what's the um, the robot the robot laws? Oh right, the Asimov. Yeah, yeah. Rules. I'm pretty sure there's like the the Kemmler rules of <laughs> reincarnation that uh, you can never turn on your people through inaction. You can't allow harm to come from them. Like they've got that under control. There's a fifth rule: Can we... cannot stop partying. <laughs> oh, no. And Sometimes I don't want to party, Tom. Sometimes I need a little nap. Like they've all passed out. And uh, yes, they're all come. drunk on blood wine and whatever, and we're just in the middle of the room, still dancing. Oh god, because uh, we're literally—they didn't tell us to stop. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want that. No, that's not for me. No, that doesn't sound nearly as good. Um, Can we just run away? We have like our own little parties on the on the road. I hope he never finds us. I guess we just party, party off into the distance. Yeah, we just. You know, we turn up in a town and we're like, it's party time! Boop, 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 boop. Okay, yeah, that could be good. Traveling party skeleton show. Yeah, because if we can somehow turn creating costumes slash disguises into a party, mm -hmm. then we might be able to go through the empire, you know, Carnival of Chaos style, so people don't instantly go like, oh, it's a skeleton! Yeah. Yeah, we put on a show. We're They're a just traveling like, hey, circus. it's the skinny boy! <laughs> yeah! And we come in and yeah. we've got... You, you get the big stilts, and you get the long trousers, and you like wander through the crowd. Yeah, like basically, you're a traveling carnival. Okay, yeah, I'm into that. Yeah. Um, so somehow, through some bullshit, um, he's attacked. Right. So the way this was, it was city, and mm -hmm. and and behind the city was our army, and yet he has somehow managed to attack us, mm. and made our army come on from behind. It's going to be fine because luckily, um, skellies are really fast, and his army's going to be really slow, so we won't get out maneuvered oh, oh no. wait a second it's an entire fucking army of chaos knights shit also i did see the balance of power bar before we went into this and it was looking bad yeah if i could have retreated i would to be fair this is this is like super lose that last time i was like this feels like a big lose managed to pull out some you know Classic Tom tricks. Yeah, but this time we've we've got split deployment. This is a hundred percent lose. Yeah, just try and take as many of them with you as you can. I think. I don't think we're going to take any of them. With us. All um, I can do is just try make, and you'll make Daddy people proud up and just distract them. Make Daddy proud. Oh no, Daddy. <laughs> Oof. Oh fucking hell! <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Fuck that guy in particular. <laughs> He's a Marauder Horseman. You're wasting your ammo, Tom. Yeah, like the, Fuck. the, the fucking the shot just went off. <laughs> um. Oh, dear. Um, Rashil has donated $10. Oh, Rashil, thank you very much. And says, Akhena Tom and Ben, Hop ben Hoptap. Oh. Shit, I almost forgot it's Wednesday. I've got nothing interesting to share, so I guess this is where I request a unit of skeleton warriors. Actually, let's change it up. Let's name some skelly boys Cambrian's War Sphinx instead. Oh, nice. Okay. That'll, that'll scare them. Right. Yeah, keep it keep it sensible. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Rashil. Um, Polite Muffin, and it's $26. Holy shit. And it says, howdy, Tom, and howdy, Ben. Hope you're all doing mighty fine this eve. Which Warhammer god would you take out on a date and why? Ronald. Also, jump me up, please. I love you. Uh, Ronald. Ronald, he's always with us. Ronald, Ronald, be with you. Uh, is that a bit like stalkery? Oh, uh, is he too clingy? Maybe. But you're mm. like, oh yeah, uh, that was a nice date. Yeah, may maybe, like maybe we'll see each other again. And he's like, I'm always with you. Oh. Um, there must be like a chill party god. Who's like the chillest partyist god? Slanesh? Um, uh, I think Slanesh is too intense for me. Mm, a bit, bit sexy. You definitely have to put out on that first date. And also, if it's a date, if you're going for like a meal, I don't want to watch Slanesh eat. 
you know, he's going to be all like, mm, oh, the sensations. Oh, try this, Trump. Try this. Oh, oh Celeste, please. <laughs> please, but try to do social distancing. <laughs> yeah, he would not be on board with social distancing. Um, I guess you could choose where the date is, though, right? It doesn't have to be a meal. Oh, where would you take Slanesh on a date? Mm. Um, I think good first date is always something you don't have to have to have like direct interaction for the first part. So then you have that shared thing to talk about afterwards. Mini golf. Mini golf. That's a good one. Comedy show. Comedy show. That can be fun, like stand up night. Okay, that's pretty pretty good. You've got to take corn mini golfing now. Oh, God. Oh, God, that sounds awful. <laughs> I didn't hit the windmill. It turned on its own. I'll destroy it. <laughs> oh, I'll kill them all. <laughs> God, corn. Like, it's just like, it's literally like a little kid's game. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I'll kill the children, too. Be, be chill for once. Oh. Are there any other, like, non-chaos gods who are, like, a bit more fun? Mork or Gork? Take, take Mork on a date. He seems to have a good time. Yeah. Then, man, Chaos Knights, like, God, they're like not bad, are they? They're all right, aren't they? Yeah. They're, they're, you know, With one of the like, famously best units ever in, in the Warhammer game. They're all right. They're all right, That's yeah. What I'd say about they them. Get, they get the job done. <laughs> God. Fucking hell. Please, Chaos Knights, be chill. Okay, like this army is just having to sell itself. Um, what is it? Mm. We're just fucking busting down. We could take, uh, go out with Nagash. He might be fun on a date. At least he's been a man once, you know. But the other gods probably don't really get what it's like to be mortal. Oh, maybe. I don't think he would really care about my feelings or my emotions. I don't think he'd ever ask me any questions. He would only talk about himself. Yeah, and his and plans for world domination. How I'm a puny mortal. I think he would also neg me a lot. <laughs> uh, right. Do you think uh, Nagash likes to humble brag a lot? Oh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> Oh, yes. I also would have ordered the fish when I was a mortal, <laughs> and that would have been a terrible mistake. Okay. Like, all right, Nick, yeah, sure, yes, you're not mortal anymore. <laughs> like, do you really have to wear the hat on the dates? <laughs> we're, in like, we're in a nice restaurant, Nick, yeah. You can take off the hat. What are you saying about my hat? <laughs> I used to hate hats, too, when I, I was to mortal. Too, when I was a mortal, <laughs> you... then I learned the better way. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right, fuck's sake. Yeah. <laughs> Mortals don't appreciate a good hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Except for those Lumineth. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, those Lumineth. Mm, I respect them. Good tasting hats. <laughs> <That's>, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, really? Are you sore? Okay. He keep talking about his ex. Keep talking about Arkan the Black. Uh, you know who else oh. used to wear a good hat? Arkan. Oh yes, Arkan. I, I, I miss don't, him. I don't still like Arkan, but I do talk about Arkan a lot. <laughs> yeah. God damn it! God damn it! You shopped here already? Yeah, I'm just trying to decide if it was worth using them on this side of the battlefield, and the answer is probably no. Uh, I check where I can just use them to try and like kill off a unit that's like just needs a little extra oomph to be killed. Yeah, I kind of think maybe bring them in like this area. Yeah, we might be able to wipe that unit out. Uh, uh oh, please, not into my my good boys. I need them. Um, drop there. It's donated sixty-nine dollars. All right, that's very generous the and sex number. Sexy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, he says, Tibia Tom, and did you know that there's no bone starting with B Ben? Really? What about the butt bone? What about the butt bone? What about the boner bone? What about boner? <laughs> yeah. What about the boner? Yeah, but don't give him ideas. I don't want to be boner Ben. Boner Ben! <laughs> um, I've been in the Gobbo pile a few weeks. 
but it's good to see my bone boys still undead. Question. Uh, my house is quite sparse. Which Warhammer faction should I employ to decorate it? No, Gelt. Uh, ooh. ooh. We're good at interior decorating. Um, I remember there was a good... It was in... Um, uh, shit, was it Demon Slayer? Beast Slayer, the Gotrek and Felix book, mm -hmm. where um, old, uh, what's his name? Vanquil, mm -hmm. he goes to the Hell Pit and he has like a meeting with like the master mutators. Okay. And they go into like the meeting room mm -hmm. and uh, there's like a, like a big table because he has to negotiate getting some help to go and, I don't know, fucking go and fuck up Gotrek and Felix. Mm -hmm. And they sit on like the chairs mm -hmm. and like the chairs like mule and cry and oh. sigh because they're like chair monsters they're like a human who's been like oh, turned into a chair or like Jeez. a skaven who's been like stretched and like their head is coming out and they're just like constantly weeping oh man um, and maybe that's like a cool aesthetic it's a look i mean it's definitely a theme it's it's a theme it's bold um i'll give it that Oof. Yeah. Steer clear of that one. Oof. Definitely none of the like undead factions. I don't think they're you know you don't want like necromantic like scabby cave look. Yeah. Fuck me. It's like God, they're right into the arches. Yeah, those knights they pushed through like a unit of swordsmen, a unit of halberdiers. They just walked through it. Yeah, that's the problem with halberdiers. It's really hard to actually get them to fight Cav. Uh, if Cav don't want to fight them, they just don't really have to. Like, chop them, please. Chop them. Where are they even going? <laughs> Drop Bear says, I got away with the wet nurse. I don't know about the crying chairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, I think get... um. Get some Zinch demons to like decorate your room. Make it like a silver tower. Oh uh, no, because you go into the the room and Yeah, you try to go into your bedroom, but then the door doesn't it's just like a bottomless pit that reconnects with the it other side goes of your somewhere house. Somewhere else and Yeah, it's exciting. You're like, okay, cool. You get the movers to like help move some stuff in and you're like, uh, which corner of the room did you put the uh the, the chair in? And they're like, Oh, the one by the window and you're like, wait. First corner, second corner, third corner, fourth corner, fifth, <laughs> sit. Well, like, it's all going to be this, like, yeah, non-Euclidean... You, yeah, you're going to live in an Escher painting. Yeah, and... <laughs> Sounds amazing. God, but in the middle of the night... Think and about the dinner parties you could have. Yeah, but you have, like, a dinner party, and someone's like, oh, I'm just going to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And you're like, fuck, they've been gone for, like, 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. And they come back as, like, a wizened <laughs> old man. They're like... <laughs> Oh, I found you. I've been here for a hundred years. <laughs> yes, and you're like, they've just been gone. And they're like, the things I've seen. <laughs> oh. And you're like, oh, yeah, fuck. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, you went into the riddle maze. on the left. <laughs> fuck. Um, oh, did you have doubt in your heart when you went through that door? Oh. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, you see, that toilet only works when you really need to go. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I think there's going to be a lot of that kind of nonsense. Yeah, I'm, into, I'm up for that. It's exciting. Is that, is that good? Oh, he doesn't look Oh, scaly giant. Put your bow away. Just start stumping. Bonk. <laughs> Bam! That fucking right hook <laughs> just takes out a horse. <laughs> kind of legit. <laughs> oh. Okay, he's cool. Oh. You could go on MTV Cribs, if that's still a thing. What? What? Oh, he's dead and we've lost line of sight. Oh, okay. I was just like... <laughs> Did he just, it looked like he stamped and made them all disappear. Just fucking... <laughs> yeah, just hit them in the sand. <sighs> How you doing? Not having a great day. Yeah, this was, this was bad. I think even if we had it deployed on the same side, it would have been really bad. Um, yeah. That was a rough one. Oof. But yeah. Um, oh shit, Drop Bear was there. Oh god, Drop Bear. Like, fuck. 
It's a lot of that Chaos Knights, man. Chaos Knights, oh. It might have been easier if a fucking slan hadn't turned up and nuked like two thirds of an army before, mm. before that happened. Yeah. I blame the frog. Yeah. Oof. Feels bad. We're gonna struggle to fight Chaos now, actually. Mmm. Um, Hopefully they'll merge this down and there'll be like two less units. Man, let's get some Fs. Fs for DJ Monkey. I guess he'll be back. Um, Surveyan, he won't be back. Oh. You're dead. Bruce Kino, Phil Forgulus, the Choddy Vod Goblin, uh, Enroyce, Cake Batter, Swin Swan, <laughs> Dylan, um, Drop Bear. Oh, Big Boy Bradley the Prince. God, like, actually got some kills. JM Jedi, Lord Murderface, Anchorcon the Black, Deflator Moose, Diamond Boots, IV0614, Supreme Dictator, Nurpu, Knuckle, RDG, and these archers just didn't get any kills at all. Legion of Chihuahua, Lone Fox, Tominx, Smuggle Dwarf, Tickle Log, Syntax Error, Viquinor, and Orange Walrus. Fucking hell, did anyone do well? Was it just Big Ball Bradley who got the kills in? And I guess some of these diamond boots. Um, the Bone Giant was pretty good. Wherever he is. Oh, yeah, 44 kills. He was good, Dylan. Jeez, man of the match. Be what do we need to be building to fight these guys? None of this stuff, apparently. Just uh, Albert. Yeah, we need something armor piercing, anti large. Find me, find me that, and we shall win. <laughs> but without those, we shall die. Um. Owie. Owie. Right. Owie powie. Pudding and pie. <clears throat> Uh, Trapo did his 15 bucks. They say, Mr. Tom, Mr. Ben, I hope you guys are doing well. I was infected with madness earlier today and I started making that Warhammer dating game you're always requesting. <laughs> if I finish it by the end of today's stream, can I get a lord? <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't know. If a, a game that's been finished in a day, I'm not sure <laughs> how good that's going to be. Um... Oh, oh, it's Dino more chibi. Dino cute. cute. I like this Nurgle boy. The Doki Doki Chaos Club. Wow. I like it. They're kind of cool. Uh, you know what? If you finish it by the end of the stream, then maybe. We'll give you as good a chance as anyone else getting a thing in the army. As um, we can never guarantee anything. No guarantee. Anything. No refunds. Oh, thank you, Trevor. Uh, Evan wins. Doing his five bucks. Thank you very much, Evan thank wins. You. Say, finally getting into 40k during lockdown. In mm. part, thanks to you. Ooh. Waiting until the new Necron Codex uh, in October to start seriously buying. But in the meantime, I'm practicing my painting on chibi miniatures I found around. Made by an IG ever... Uh, Evan does a uh, paint. If anyone cares. Mm. Is that like an Instagram thing? I guess. Um, the, uh, man, yeah, right now, holy shit, like, the Necron sides of the, um... Necron's going cheap. Uh, Indomitus box. Pretty, pretty cheap right now. Mm. It's a good time. Pretty cheap. Good time to get in. Um... Very good. Uh, Elrock, doing his 10 bucks, and he say, Tom and Ben, where's Crow? Uh, no, seriously. Mm. Where is he? I don't know. Uh, we haven't met him yet. Uh, yeah, we haven't. I'm, I'm guessing he's probably got kicked kicked in. Destroy them. He's probably did. Uh, but they say, um, also, why is Marathi good now? Why is Age of Sigmar so different? Yeah, they just changed a lot of shit. Well, the Dark Elves are goodies now. I yeah, don't just, really understand why. And everything's got a dumb name. Who are, who are Dark Elves? I don't even know what their dumb name is. Drukethramir's. Something, oh, that's probably something like it. Slutarthies. The Slutarthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like, I like those guys. Um, yeah, well, I, don't, I, I don't know. The Dark, I guess, the, when, um, when the Bad Bad happened. Mm-hmm. Um, the end times, the worlds were about to end and everything was going to be destroyed. I guess the Dark Elves were like, 
I guess our civil war is kind of pointless if everything's going to be destroyed. Yeah. You know, we don't want to destroy the world. We just want Elfland back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's basically... So I guess that's why they teamed up. They were like, you know, it's a classic, classic Transformers the movie situation. Where Wasn't you... there like a thing of like half the... Like the Dark Elves invaded Ulthan in the end times. Mm-hmm. And half the High Elves were like, you know, actually the Dark Elves probably have a better shot at winning than us, so we're just going to join Marathi now. And they oh. just kind of then murdered the other half of the High Elves who were like, just had the bad plan. I don't know, I did not. It's Age wow. of Sigma, End Times law, and Elf law. Oh my like, god, it's the trifecta of Tom doesn't give a shit. Like, it is the <laughs> most skim reading that you can ever say that you did without not reading something. <laughs> yeah. Um, like a cursory glance That's... at an open book from across the room. Like, uh, elves. Ugh, elves. <laughs> um, yeah, something. This something like time. that happened. I don't really, I don't really know. Yeah, I skimmed it. Um, uh, they say, anyways, uh, Wood Elves DLC update. Elves aren't great, but Wood Elves need an update badly. Uh, anyways, add me to the ranks. Um, yeah, I've never really played a Wood Elf campaign. I gave it like a little 20 turn poke around to see what they did. Hmm. And I didn't really get excited by it, so I, I left them. Yeah, I tried playing one once. Like, because um, we'd done Elf Wars that one time. Hmm. But then tried playing the other side of doing like the elfier side of Elf Wars. I don't really like... I find the... the armies too micromanage heavy for my tastes. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, shooty, runaway kind of... Yeah. ...stuff. Oh, Gorok. Gorok wants a friend. God, look at our fucking complicated diplomacy. <laughs> just... Fuck you. Yeah. Like, this guy, he's just like, I hate chaos! I don't like chaos! <laughs> and we're like, we have complicated feelings about uh, a lot of people. Yeah, how do you feel about everyone else? <laughs> yeah. I don't understand! Uh, Gorok but... hate chaos! <laughs> okay, thanks, Gorok. <laughs> uh, Gorok friend! <laughs> Gorok friend, but not to chaos! <laughs> like, okay. Together! Gorok strong! <laughs> like Gorok. Okay. Uh, I like Gorok. Quite, quite, yeah. the, quite the diplomacy. How do you feel you're about like here. slightly more complicated agreement? Oh, shit. Give us money as well, Gorok. To, to <laughs> <laughs> what is money? What is money? <laughs> okay, right. Gorok. Shiny pebbles. <laughs> we take those and we friend. Gorok friend! Gorok. Together, Gorok strong! <laughs> hey, Gorok. You're a good boy. Um. Yeah, Wells, come on in. Go on in, Gorok. <laughs> You're good people, Gorok. I Want me at war with Gorok? Oh, no! Come back, Gorok! <laughs> come back! You confused it. You said three different things. And Gorok <laughs> fled in embarrassment. Um, He's got, just raged out, table flipped. Stop! Oh, Gorok don't understand! Gorok hate chaos! <laughs> You're not Gorok, friend! Oh, Gorok. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my sweet child. <laughs> um, wow, shit. I'm sorry, Gorok. I confused you with numbers. Gorok, <laughs> my boy. Let's be quiet. Don't worry, he'll be back. He'll come back when he hears that we are still at war with chaos. <laughs> yeah. And he'll forget completely about everything that we were just discussing. Um, oh, oh. What, a, what a dangus. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit, they're double teaming us, Tom. <laughs> yes, yeah, if one of those stacks wasn't bad. Like <laughs> the double team is really bad. Um Oh yeah, uh, make sure you're keep ordering telling people to attack chaos. Yeah, I did I just did that. Okay, yeah. that's good. So look, that's why these guys are coming. Nice. We called we called Lothan for aid. Sitting right through that attrition. Shit, he's done the perfect move. Look, he's he's we've got three armies here mm -hmm. and he's out of range of all of them. Nice. You son of a bitch. Um, oh, what are we going to lose? Like, And this is where we were recruiting all our tomb guard. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Fuck me. Um, yeah, that feels like a big L. Yep. Okay, so we're recruiting somewhere else. Mm. It's exciting. We're, we're learning new things. I um, guess we'll recruit over okay. here, back okay. home. Uh, so, Denim and Lead, and it's 4 bucks 20 Thank you, Denim and Lead. They say, Flom and Flan! Uh, how are you two? 
Um, sleepy and hot, I'd say. It's my two main status effects at the moment. Uh, they say, I just started streaming recently and having a blast. Um, uh, wait, did we read this one or is that just like a repeat message? Hmm, I think it's the exact same thing. I think thing. he sent it twice. Well, thank you very much. If we had to create a Warhammer based game show, what would it be? That one that we spoke about before. Thank you. Yeah. Um, a symbolic stance thing's five bucks. Thank you very much, symbolic stance. Uh, they say, Tom Ben discovered there's just enough time to donate before my Alo Alo inspired Actoon Cthulhu game. <laughs> oh, uh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> so I looked forward to this in the Bob Goblin pile later whilst painting oh, some lovely yeah. new Mythos game minis. Good luck. Holy what, shit. What is German for um, hello? Not, like, not good and tired. Good and tired. No, that's good day, isn't it? It's just hello. Oh, that's boring. Hello. Hello, hello. Um, wow, man. I, I, I'd 100% play. Hello, hello. Uh, that's the name of the game. Well, it can still just be hello, hello. You're like French resistance people. Well, that's true. And um, has to be suitably goofy, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want it to be really light-hearted and goofy for the first, like, half. Mm -hmm. And then it go so dark and horrible, um, where all of your favorite LOLO characters are being ripped apart by tentacle monsters, <laughs> uh, sacrificed yeah. by, by crazy Nazi cultists. Perfect. Um, that, that is the dream. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm into. I like it. That sounds great. Sounds really good. Let us know how it goes. Um... Um, Archibald Damius, Denise, and they say, <gasps> Bomb and turn! You assholes got me and my friends into plastic crack. Uh, this is our first attempt at painting. Uh, despite it being a bit shit, we're proud mm. of them, and they are my emo space elves on the left. Amazing. Space elves. Um, let me see. Let me get out of here. Shit. Oh, cool. Incubi. They look great. Incubi versus uh, Helling Banshees. Nice. Yeah, it's a good start, man. Really, really cool. Good work. Um, I think of all of the elf things, I do actually quite like a lot of the Dark Eldar models. Yeah, the Incubi especially, because they're like brand new. They look yeah. really good. I've always liked the Incubi, even when they were terrible. I was just liked. What were the evil old Incubi warriors. models? Like? They're the first gen ones. Were the really spindly? Um, they didn't have like cloaks or capes or anything. They were just kind of like weird stick men with bug helmets, um, and they had halberds. Can you get like a picture? I kind of like. I just vaguely remember really liking them, but maybe I'm wrong because it is elves. Um, the new ones do look awesome. New I love those great. weapons. I like the These helmets. These are the new guys, and they really look like fucking evil aspect warriors. Um, the first ones were oh, those these guys. guys. Yeah. Uh, but the but the artwork was always really cool. And yeah. The models didn't really live up to the artwork. And to be honest, most of this generation of Dark Elder were, were pretty trash. Oh, but it was the one that you had the slave barge. The sexy oh, yeah. Well, the ones on the slave barge had cloaks and looked way Oh, better. yeah, those guys look awesome. They look like, way cooler. See them here, like they're guards on the barge. Okay, those are the ones that I like. Yeah, but they only were only on this model. Like, see. But everyone always like tried to get them and use With them the as their main guys. sexy slave. I used these as, um, back in third edition, Thousand Sun Sorcerers could um, have a Thrall wizard and they could sacrifice the Thrall to cast another spell. Nice. But I just ordered a bunch of these models and had them as like chained up slaves that you'd like richly sacrifice to do more magics. I had those as my um, f like the familiars in my inquisitorial retinue <laughs> right. of um, like to just like weird weird slave girls that the inquisitor just, just had just part of his around. retinue because um, he's in like a fucking. Like Conan novel or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because they do. Those are like, they look like they should be on the front of like, uh, like a metal album. Like, or yeah, what's that style called? Um, like the hero. Like eighties hero cover. It's like Edgar Rice Burroughs or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, what is like the style? Uh, what's it called? I can't remember. Frazetti, is that it? Like the heavy metal kind of style. Like this sort of thing, where there's always... Like that kind of thing, where... 
Or like this. Yeah, that's it. Like where you always have just like, you know. These ridiculous over the top poses. Robert E. Howard, that's what I was thinking of. It's the guy who wrote it. I don't know. It's just like such a weird thing that was so popular because a couple of things got famous doing it and then everyone started doing it. Yeah, and it was just always, always the thing. Too hot for Twitch. It's true. Yeah, yeah, that previous one had a butt in it. <gasps> Not a whole buttock. Not a butt. Um, yeah, they were cool. They were cool models. Uh, but Archibald Damius, those are great. Good look. Uh, snarkiest donates three bucks. There you are, Snarkiest. <gasps> they say, tomato and bean. How are you both doing this week? Good. Bon sweaty. Um, it's me. Uh, completely melting like ice, I'm guessing. Oh, man, ice sounds much cooler mm. than I am right now. Uh, because this weather is grim for me, a human snowman. Uh, anyway, quick question. Uh, if you were to add a new race to 40k, what would it be? And why would it be Dick Ball Aliens? Ooh. Uh, man, giants. We've asked giants. this one a lot. Yeah, giants. Um, big, big giants. Think of them like fleshy giants. Imperial Knights. I'm really tempted to, um, when the the guys come out, the Sons of Behemoth, I might try and do a, like an Admech Knight conversion. Like, Ooh. just put all the weapons that a knight would have onto that. They look like they're about the same sort of size and just try and add mech it up and if I can make one and it looks cool then might try and do some oh man that sounds good do some others uh, for that um, so we've got a choice here Tom we've got Cetra who um, the hero ball but we can lightning strike in which case we would lose our worst army what is this in the other force okay I'm not as worried about just like marauders trolls are bad hell cannon bad God, we've got a lot of cav. That'd be an easier fight to manage, but like that many chaos knights. Yeah, that's the wrong We're army not, for that. We've got a lot of shooting. What if no we lightning strike there. the other army? Oh, snipe that off. Maybe, but once again, this is very heavy shooting. There isn't a ton of meat. Well, we can swap out. We can stick some of these units in that army, hmm. or we could just do the big, the big two on two. God, I do genuinely worry if. We do fight the big battle. Still, there's so many Chaos Knights. Have we got any anti-large stuff here? Uh, Not no. really. It's mainly archers and chariots. Fucking hell. These armies were built before Chaos Invaded. Like before we haven't had a Chaos. chance. If these were Chaos Warrior armies, I'd be a lot more a lot more into this. Yeah. But like all of our stuff is basically just anti-infantry. Oh, Mr. Winter. He's armor-piercing anti-large. Hmm. Don't need one of him. I'm worried that if I fight this, I'm going to get everything wiped. I just think like there's just so little stuff to pin down. Mm. Like, in, like twelve units of chaos. Oh, we, we, I could back off. But then what do we do? Like wait for the better army to get built. The, the thing is, we can't we can't respec into fighting chaos knights. Like it takes so long for Kemri yeah. to pivot. Um. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Seems tough, man. It is tough. Um, got three units of you, Shapti, and a casket mm. of souls. Like, we can give it a go. Like, if we lose here, what happens? Um, we, we lose the coast. We will have these armies rebuilt before he gets to our core. No oh, fuck. Well, maybe, maybe just fight it and see what happens. Um, I don't want to do the lightning strike. Yeah. I just think that they will get around. Okay. The stuff too fast, probably. Probably. I don't know. How good are the princes at killing? Killing guys. I think princes can really fuck up some chaos warriors. Do you remember? Um, Big Boy Bradley had loads of kills, didn't he? Mm. In the last battle. You know what? I'll I'm just going like, to let you make the call. Uh, we're going in with everything. The, the big the battle. Bam. Uh, Orange Walrus donates five bucks. Thank you very much. Orange Walrus. And say, mostly melted Tom and fully evaporated Ben. Ooh. Uh, tried to say this toddy conversion last week, but totally beans it. 
No. If this fails, you just have to imagine it because it's too hot to try again. Uh, man, I, f I feels you. Mm -hmm. I feels you. It's too hot to do anything. The aircon does not work in this room. Oh, oh that's a real good toddy. Oh, fuck. He looks great. What is that converted out of? I don't recognize that model. Is that the Empire... God, was there like an Empire captain guy that had like a hammer? Uh, yeah. Can we... Can we get that on? Oh, I can't. Sydney can do it. Sorry. It's Sydney. Oh, sorry, buddy. You're all right. Yeah, because Instagram won't let you like save the photos easily. Mm. Bit of a pain. Oh man, Bob Sickle Slice just cheered 5,000 bits. Holy shit, that's a lot of bits. What a boy, it's so many bits. A lot of bits. Thank you, Bob Sickle Slice. Oh my god, just about to lose. Bob! Oh, chat says it's the old um, Forge World Empire Command set. I forgot Forge World did some fan fantasy stuff. Yeah. I can't yeah. see what that guy was. Well, thank you, Orange Walrus. Thank you, Bob Sickle Slice. Um, Broccoli has donated $15. And he says, check out an Irish movie called War of the Buttons. Kids fight each other over buttons. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to Google that. War of the Buttons. What the fuck? Ah, oh, there right. he is. Yeah, he looks cool. Like, Very really good. cool. It looks perfect. It looks just like it. Man, I love the um, uh, the little fucking like grassy bits on the base. Mm, they're very pretty. Look like what? flowers. What stuff is that? They look look great. Good job, dude. Um, totally not Adam. Donated fifteen dollars, and says. How can, um, we How can we know it's totally not Adam? Well, it says he's not. It's definitely not Adam. It's anyone but. And they say Tom and the other guy. Who I'm negging because I like him more. <laughs> oh. I'm very, I feel very aroused, Adam. Oh. Um, instead of doing my uni work, I learned Photoshop for some Indian YouTube videos so I can make art inspired by half remembered dono from last week. Very cool. Let me see your art. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. <laughs> um, it's, it's Horus. With Kermit's face. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, wow. And we've got, like, Elmo, Sanguinius. He's done them all, Tom. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> it's amazing. That's a lot of boys. <laughs> oh. It's perfect. We've got Animal as Angron. It looks great. These are perfect. The, eag the, uh, the eagle guy as Rogaldorn. Nice. Um, we've got <laughs> grumpy, <laughs> grumpy old man fighting Eagle Man. <laughs> so far he is Merkle Dawn. Oh my god, Sydney, if you can get some of these up, that would be amazing. Oscar the Grouch is Mortarian. He's done them all, Tom. Oh my god. Oscar the Grouch is Mortarian looks really good. <laughs> yeah. Do you just submit this as your uni work? Whatever you do for your university, <laughs> just put this in instead. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Look how much these things home. Oh my god! These, these hell cannons. No, Fucking that's... AA hell cannons. No, that's the, um, just fireballs. Oh, oh. Yeah, snipe them. <laughs> these are amazing. He's got the count as, um, Conrad curs. <laughs> ah! <laughs> how many claws do I have? He's pretty good. Eight! Oh, oh, oh. Perfect. <laughs> oh my god, Miss Piggy is um <laughs> Wow <laughs> God, they look they look amazing. If you, like, you get that whole like folder link. Yeah, get the whole folder link. These are just fantastic. Got the hair and everything. <laughs> oh look, one of one of Fulgrim's guards is um Beaker. <laughs> Oh. Fucking eight. <laughs> He's done Brendan Fraser as the Emperor. Nice! That's exactly <laughs> what we wanted. <laughs> that, that's all uh, my dreams come true. It's Fabius. Oh, of course it's Fabius. Perfect. Beaker is Fabius. I love it. 
These are amazing. Good fucking job. Thank you, Adam. That really cheered me up. Uh, Gildenstern donated $25 and says, um, simple functional button Ben and overly ornate button Tom. <laughs> oh, no. Not again, it's the button wall. <laughs> oh, my God. The Amish will have you, Tom. You're not allowed into Amish land. Shit. Me and my fancy buttons getting me into trouble again. <laughs> Oh, um, I was talking with friends about our first Warhammer memories, and it made me think of you two. What's the earliest Warhammer battle that you remember? Loving the stream as always. My first Warhammer battle that I remember was playing the Warhammer Fantasy 3rd Edition starter set with Hiles versus Goblins. And we had like the cardboard Griffin, Eltharian. Nice. We had like, you know, the sort of 40 spearmen, 20 archers, up against like 60 arch, whatever it was with goblins, I forget. Um, over like a bit of wood that like my friend's dad had bought and painted um, like whatever leftover green they had. Okay. So it was like, ena like enamel, not enamel, but like, you know, just um, just wool, wool paint green on a slab yeah, of wood. Yeah. And we had like some chunks of polystyrene um, and like high elves and goblins and it was fucking amazing. And I loved it. Oh, man. Um, Life was never the same again. I was the goblins. He was the elves. So what did they got? I, had, I guess I had the cardboard rock lobber and the cardboard grom. Okay. The I think that's what it came with. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, um, the big grom. He was good. He was a good boy. So do we have proper, like, wizard spells? Uh, just that one. Yeah, that's just Cetras. Well. Yeah, we've got no nerds here. All so fight man. Like get them killed. Uh, What's your like first battle memory? Um, I don't know. It de like this definitely isn't like the my first battle, but one like really vivid memory I have of being a kid was having a like chaos army, um, and um. Uh, getting Fabius Bile and it was like a friend's birthday and we'd like taken over his living room and just everyone had just bought every fucking model that they had and mm -hmm. just deployed them on his carpet and we oh, like, played Oh like first edition Age of Sigma <laughs> Yeah 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 basically <laughs> that and um, you used to get to roll like on a table to see how many wounds Fabius Files started with. All his stats were random back in the day. And, and it was like, he had D3 plus one strength and D2 plus four toughness. And like, yeah, and, and I think kind of like I rolled like three sixes in a row <laughs> and was so excited um, that he had like really good stats. And <laughs> yeah. like, there was, there was to be like, I don't know, just a ridiculous amount of points mm. um, on this, this carpet. There was like, I don't know, like eight or nine of us and everyone had like, just fucking just, just all shoe stuff. boxes of models <laughs> that are emptied out. Yeah. Um, oh. And... Sounds amazing. Uh, yeah, just really remember, like, those... I'm guessing those you didn't rolls. finish. No, God, like, fuck, we got, like, a couple of turns in and then, like, stopped to have, like, pizza or something mm. and then didn't... Uh, didn't go back. Just, yeah. Like, Classic. Pushed, pushed some toys around a bit more. Um... Or... Yeah, 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 like, but before that, I think, like, we just, like, didn't really play the rules very properly. Hmm. Um, well, yeah, because for years, like, none of us had the books for half the games. We just sort of, we played in Games Workshop a few times, and we reckoned we could remember most of it. Yeah. And we didn't want to spend £30 on a book when, you know, that's model, that's model money. Yeah, exactly. Um, and... You're just trying to like remember how you how you did it in the Games Workshop store, um, and just see how that goes. Uh, but I don't know. I think it was like it wasn't until like fourth ed when I started actually like playing a bit more sensibly and like having having stuff. That was the Lizard Men Bretonian. Hmm. Um, box. 
but I think like actually had like read the rule book or try to read the rule book. Yeah, and... sort of actually had an idea of how to play. Um, but actually, maybe like it was um, even then like Gorkamorka was like something that we played a lot of in Necromunda. Um, were like some of the things that we really enjoyed playing because there was less rules and less models to keep track of and mm. just seemed less complicated. Um, God, is that cav unit? Oh, just please, just break away. It's all right, if they're keeping a unit cast knights out of the game. Yeah, but I want them to... Or you could, like, you could use Shapti. Oh, maybe that is worth it. Because those guys are going to kill a lot. Um, Smoker Dwarf has donated and says, Blam! Tlan! Hey. I'm excited for a possible Clan Molder DLC faction. Mm. And hopefully, with some kind of creature mutating mechanic. Speaking of abominations, if there were Centaur Blemies, would the face be on the man chest or the horse belly? Uh, horse belly. Yeah. I, like, I like horse belly. Oh, uh, fuck. I guess it could be on both. They're Blemies. Like, go wherever the fuck you want. I think um, you just roll the dice. Half... Half of them do, half of them don't. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. That, that seems that seems very diplomatic and fair to me. Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe race wars start, but hopefully not. Let me have got a bit more chill than that. Yeah, they generally seem like kind of kind of all right dudes. I feel like the, ch the man chest blemies probably have a bit of an advantage over the horse tummy belly blemies. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they can <laughs> see a lot more. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh. But yeah, hopefully, Clan Molder sounds fun, and mutation is good. Yeah, a like fair I thing. Always loved Clan Molder. Um, I hope it's something a bit like the um, Clan Skyra stuff. Uh, but you know, if you go around and kill stuff and you get bits, you can plug those into your boys. Hmm. Basically, it's just like um, Ikit's workshop. But everything, all the names have changed. I imagine. Yeah. Actually, thinking about it more, I think the eyes of the Blemmy Centaur go where the man nipples would be. Nice. And the mouth goes on the horse tummy. It's spread across the entire uh, section. Uh, that's great. That's like best of both worlds. And the nose is on the curve. Ooh. Where it curves around, the nose Oh, you can get like caught on stuff. You jump over yeah, a log. You gotta bam, be careful. Break your nose. Yep. Be careful, man. Yep. Smash your nose on shit. Just don't smash your <laughs> nose on shit. Yeah. That's the, the main tip. I kind of don't want you guys fighting, but I don't have anyone else over here. Where are you? Why they, they, all the Tomb Princes can use their smash smash power. Yeah, I've been trying to like bust these out. I'm holding onto that to heal Cetra. Mm-hmm. I've done it. Cetra, did not cast your spell? No. Carcass Knights are fucking good, eh? They're, they're like, oh, they're not bad. Not bad, Ben. They're pretty good. Um, Stone Soul donates and says, uh, Buttonless T-shirt Amish Ben and undone button sexy chest revealing Amish Tom. Oh. Uh, double heresy. <laughs> oh my god, because I've got, I'm flaunting the fact I've got buttons and I'm not even using Not them. even using them. That is the most like frivolousness you can have, <laughs> surely. Uh, did we kill their lord or did he fuck off? I don't know. I was like power teaming him with like a whole load of boys. Okay, well, do you want to go and kill a wizard? Um. I have avoided the pile this week to reveal, to revel in your sweet Warhammer presence. Mm. So, if you had to become one of the interchangeable dwarves on the Hobbit, who would you pick? Oh, you can't be Feely, Keely, or Bomber, or Why? Thorin, because they're not interchangeable. Feely and Keely are interchangeable with each other. Oh, that's true. Should we just both be Feely and Keely? Yeah, like the. Well, they both die. Spoiler alert. What? What? They're like the only dwarves that die. They're like the sexy dwarves, though. They don't even look like dwarves. <laughs> yeah. In the film. Um, well, that's like the interesting bit of uh, Lord of the Rings lore. I think we've spoken about this before. Mm -hmm. um, but in the like Middle Earth like setting, mm -hmm. whenever they like talk about a dwarf, 
Mm. They're always like, boom, Gimli, son of Gloin. Um, whatever. Uh, Jeff, son of Big Jeff. <laughs> um, Jeffson. Yeah. Um, right. Whereas Feely and Keeley, they are like, they're like Feely and Keeley, their mother was Thorin's sister, and they never refer to Feely and Keeley's father. Oh, interesting. And it's the only case of that in all of like Tolkien literature. And so it's like... So what are they? Are they like half human or something? Thorin's half sister elf. fucked an elf. Because <gasps> they're meant to be taller, prettier dwarves. Wow. And... and that's why Thorin keeps them around, because no one else will bloody have them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're like kind of like uh, oh shamed, shamed upon. Um, so... Wow. Okay, that's why they're so nimble. They're always the ones like climbing trees and shit. Yeah, like goofing around. Yeah. Because... You know, wow. Maybe they're fucking. Well, we can't be them then. Um, Ugh, half elves. Ugh. Dirty. Shit. Okay. Well, um, that's that's interesting. Do you reckon that's why they chose them for the for the weird forced love triangle? Yeah. In the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why the elf was into them because mm -hmm. they're like, Ugh, I wouldn't love a pure dwarf. Gross. Mm. Love me a bit of elf. Uh, but, a bit of fucking elf. That's what I'm into. Did... Oh, fuck. The, the Ushabti killed one. They made it that far. It took them so long to kill. Yeah, those things take a long time to die. Has it not even killed it? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's just raging there. out. I'm, I'm <laughs> it's lost all its mans. I wish they did Rampage. Rampage, yeah, me too. That was such a cool... That was an amazing rule. Like, tabletop mechanic. Okay, all right, you guys... Oh my god, have we fucking won? A lot oh of people god. died. Also, I did one thing that I was very ashamed of this battle. Oh, what did you do? One big fuck up. I didn't see it. I was too busy talking about Dwarf. I know, I was so glad. And I could. When I noticed the fuck up, I saw that you were looking at the screen. And I quickly, like. Did you zip picked, away? <laughs> and. But you didn't, you didn't notice, because like a lot of stuff was going on. What did you do, Tom? So I deployed the... Um, Casket of Souls. I, like, I'd actually left it in front of my archers, and I told, <laughs> it, I told it to come back. Yeah. And the whole fight was kicking off, and I just saw its like arc of fire was just pointing down, and it hadn't <laughs> fired the entire battle. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh shit, this thing is actually one of the things that's going to win the battle. <laughs> and it hasn't done anything. <laughs> it has not done anything this entire fucking oh fight. Oh my god. Um, but no one noticed. No one knows no, that, we'll, that happened. And they'll never know either. And they'll we'll never know. We'll just cut this part out for the cut video. Part out. Uh, Perfect. The, pa the magic of editing. Uh, yeah. Can you use the heal on Setra just so he's healed on like campaign screen? So that magic thing. Oh yeah. Is it just himself? It healed himself. Oh. I think he needs to be on a tomb sphinx. Right. Because I popped it. Like, I clicked it, and it was just like, oh, it just got used. Oh, shit, did I fuck it up? But no, I think Cetra needs to be given one of those. Mm. Um, do we need to pick a dwarf? Um, um, I can't even remember them all. They've all got dumb names, haven't they? Do you want to be Oin, and I'll be Gloin? Oh, can I be Gloin? Because then uh, my son's Gimli, and he's cool. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool by proxy. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, be, I'll be Balin, because then I, I get a mine. A uh, mine! That's it. <laughs> they call it a mine? <laughs> I've always felt like such a weird delivery of that line. Yeah. <laughs> like, what is, what? A mine! <laughs> I like it. It's kind of fun. <laughs> What's he trying to say? Because uh, it, like, you know, a mine is. Uh, you know, traditionally not very shitty, where these are great dwarven halls. Oh, I see. And they call it a mine. When it's actually like a palace. But, yeah, but, you know, it's really fancy, like, for a mine. Right. Um. Boom. You did it. Fucking Good did fucking it. job, man. You, you nailed those knights. The, God, I think I underestimated the heroes. They were... Very good. Um, they did very good killing against Chaos Knights. Uh, 
shit, that hell cannon done good, eh? How much did the other one do? Because one of them died halfway through. Oh, okay, mm. great. Man, good job. Good job. Unfortunately, we've got to press F for Ocurs. Lance three lot. Hip Hop Apotamus. Um, JM Jedi. Totally not Adam. JG108A. Skip Digley. Max Meme Stappen. Stone Soul. From Somewhere. Mahons. Sizru. Zubal Dude. Rushil. Lazy Cat. Sandra Britton. Yam Yam. And Mahons. God, man. And rip. Those chariots, their main job was just to be distraction forces. They, they did a great pull, job. You pulled pull like five nuts. units away at the start with two chariots. That was great. Just keep them out of the fight for as long as possible so I can try and kill other stuff with my remaining forces. Oh, Arcanaut Giant. Yeah, Six really good, strikes. actually. Um, and good. he fucking tanked combat for like half that fight. Mm. Like, didn't even use half of its ammo. It's a good job. Um, I'm not sure if keeping him out and him shooting was going to be better than having him tie up like two units in combat. Yeah, it's combat. hard to say what's better. Man, and um, Mahon's doing good too. 46 kills. Even in death, he's still you know what? Casket of Souls, even though it didn't fire until the enemy were at point-blank range, still, still good. pretty good. Maybe could have been better. Might have not lost as many boys, but it's pretty good. I'll take it. Pretty good. Oh my god, we saved the Awakening, which is really good because it's got a... Um, it's got some really expensive buildings in it. Oh, shit. It's got this um, giant house. Oh, okay. I do like giants. And it's got like Tomb Guard house. Oh, Okurs will be back. He's not dead. That's good. Um, he totally did it. All right, should we finish, finish these Burks off? Oh, we can't. We've gone too far. Shit. Uh, um. uh, Nick Lee. Dude, it's 25 bucks. Thank you very much, Nick Lee. They say, Cute. long time Vodgobo, first time Donato. Uh -huh. um, I've been watching since you guys were first let out of the dungeon. Hooray! I just wanted to let you know how much I appreciate all of the entertainment you've given throughout the years. Well, Nick Lee, oh. thank you. Thank you very much. It's very kind. Um, I'm glad, glad you enjoy it. Yeah. Um, very cool. Very cool. It's... Uh, ooh. <laughs> no, that's all right. I wanted to get him killed. Because um, he's a tomb. Oh, he didn't even die, you prick! <laughs> How did he flee? Because you disband? think you can't, you can't disband immortal people. And he's taken up a lord slot. We only oh, five lords. where you want to do recruitment somewhere? And I want to recruit somewhere else. Yeah. Oh well. Shit the bed. Fuck me, I guess. Um. Fine. Uh, rip and tear your dicks. Then it's ten bucks. Thank you very much. Rip and tear your dicks. You say, three goblins pretending to be a tomb guard, Tom, and 87 goblins pretending to be a war sphinx band. <laughs> I've learned much in my time in the pile, mm. but the foremost thing is that whatever faction you play, we is gobbos. We is gobbos. And however you may run, you is gobbos too. <laughs> we is gobbos. Yes, we is gobbos and you is gobbos. Yeah, gobbos. Everyone is gobbos in they're their they're heart. just good people. We're good boys. Uh, skeleton Warriors, thanks three bucks, thank you very much, Skeleton oh, Warriors. Thank you. They say, Tom, Ben, I'm glad to see that more and more of my Skeleton Warrior friends have tipped into the stream. <laughs> when there's enough of us in the pile, I'm planning on campaigning for skeleton rights, since the gobbos keep stealing our bones as pearl ingredients. <laughs> oh, God. Well, we need to keep an eye on this guy. I don't want the um, skeletons oh. getting rights. That sounds yeah. like a nightmare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got um, Kemler's Law. To keep them, keep them under check. Yeah, because we failed well. with the gobbos. There's no <laughs> yeah. way to bring any organisation to the gobbos. But no, that's why we resorted to stashing them in a pile so they don't cause too much trouble. Yeah, yeah. But skellies, like we're gonna like nip that in the bud, nice and quick. Mm -hmm. uh, Mahons, uh, donates five bucks. Thank you very much, Mahons. Can say, hey there, Lord of the Rings, Hobgoblin, Orc Tom, and regular Goblin Orc Ben. Uh, just so you know, Orc and Goblin is just different words for the same race in Lord of the Rings. Where Goblin is the English word for Orc, which is a Hobbit word. Oh. Um, yeah, I still like to see them as different. Yeah, because there's, uh, little, there's little ones and there's big ones. And, and the little ones is Gobbos. Yeah, yeah. 
One is one is clearly gobbos, <laughs> yeah. and one is one is orcs. I do prefer Warhammer orcs and goblins, though. Yeah, like I feel like some... they're a bit more distinct. Like the gobbos are a lot more fun, and the orcs are a bit more like rowdy. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, they're, yeah. They're, and both of them are less like just like mutant people, whereas orcs, orcs in Lord of the Rings, at least in the films, are just kind of like mean people who look a bit weird. Yeah, yeah. Whereas orcs and goblins in Warhammer have got much more of their own culture. Yeah, they're like a lot more like fantasy, um, and it feels like you kind of latch onto more of like, you know, orcs and what orcs and goblins are really up to in mm. the Warhammer world than in Lords of the Rings, where they're just bad. They're just like bad dudes. Um, yeah, I mean, none of them are great. No, not so much. I like to do a crumpet. Um, but I still, I still like them, kind of being, kind of being different. Like different guys, even though they're supposed to be the same, just different, different names and different sizes. Um, but I guess they're like different cultures. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Kenny the Gobsite uh, donates a hundred bucks. Whoa, Ooh, Kenny, Kenny! Thank you very much. That is very, very That's kind. Super kind. And they say bomb and ten. Kenny, can I have a unit that won't be auto resolved out of existence? Um, yeah, holy shit, 400 bucks, you can have just fucking anything. You can have anything you want, dude. Just fucking jump on in. Just bend over. Bam. Uh, wow. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> um, they say, also, Tom, I love the shorts. Yeah, I'm not really like a shorts guy, but... Yes, today. God, it's fucking hot. It's too hot. Um, so, yeah, you get to see a lot of, like, a lot of knee. Um, do you know anything that says notice me? Because you only have just, like, black trousers on, but... Uh, yeah, just wearing like black trousers. I mean, he can Too be this hot. new lord if he wants. Pow. Can you gobs like? Can't promise you won't get auto resolved, but. You'll come back. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Might be a thing. Uh, but holy shit, thank you so much. That's very, very generous. Very kind. I mm, appreciate it. Uh, Troybone to this five bucks. Thank you very much, Troybone. Mm. Satan. It appears Cetra brought the winds of Kemri to all of our homes. Oh. Had to dismantle some trees in the yard. Not fun. If you could re-theme a Warhammer unit into another faction, i.g. Skeleton Squig, what would your pick be? Ooh. Um, hmm. I, I like anything as undead is cool. Yeah. Like, I always really liked it when people would go out of their way to model their like undead army as an undead version of another race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was always a good look. Like, just an undead high elf army or, like, an undead Bretonian army or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I think that's cool. Um, um, but a specific unit. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I, God, I kind of like the idea of... Um, like, forest goblins... But uh, Lustrian forest goblins that all ride dinosaurs. Oh, instead of spiders. Yeah, that'd be cool. So that, they look a bit like skinks, but they'd be goblins with feathers, like parrot feathers. Yeah, in their hair yeah. And, and I think it'd like, just be like a wacky mix. Yeah, um, that could be cool. Um, I like that. A dwarven steam tank. That'd be good. Um, yeah. The I was like the um, Skaven steam tank. That mm. was like a cool thing that they were meant to have like got one out of. Whatever like it was. Pulled it out of a swamp somewhere. The or blight, blight Marsh. Yeah. Um, and like taking it back home and rebuilt it. Um, Pterodon Doom Divers. <laughs> 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 yeah, that'd be kind of good. Kind of kind of cool. Um, hmm. What about just like an undead chaos army, you know? Like just a whole load of Krells. <laughs> That'd be great, man. I love love that look. I really like this kind of like the white kind of like style, like big heavy armored skeletons. Um, yeah, man, I'd love love it if you could do a uh, Gorok pack. Gorok friend. <laughs> Gorok hate chaos. Gorok hate chaos. You got it, Gorok. Gorok confused. <laughs> Gorok friend. Look, Gorok, give me berries. Gorok I, berries. I give Gorok gold. <laughs> <laughs> Gorok hate chaos. Okay, Gorok, please. Oh, Gorok, 
You're a good boy. Uh, are we really getting like 12 bucks a turn from trade with Gorok? <laughs> <laughs> He's only got berries. He turns up. It's just him by himself with a pocket of berries. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, Gorok, you're doing great work here. Oh, wow. Ooh, look at this. Vogmar's here. Oh, with can the we fucking... fight this? You just want to see the steam tank and rockets go I want nuts. to see the steam tank and rocket army do, like, all the good stuff. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I love having, like, the combos. <laughs> Such a weird army. Man, although he's come a long way, Vogmar, hasn't he? He's in, yeah. Like, that's a long, lot, lot of map to travel. Well, where did he start? Um, up by up above us. Oh, shit. He's a good boy. Mm. Um, like Texas. Texas. <laughs> Yeehaw, like it's me. <laughs> <laughs> if we're if we're you know doing geography that way. Oh, fuck! One of our armies is coming on in pleb zone. Oh shit! Okay, Volkmar, run to the rescue. <laughs> Volkmar, finish the battle for, like, very fast. Hopefully the rockets will get him to, like, charge straight in. Come on, Volkmar, do it. Do it, you coward. Rockets away. Oh, they look good. Man, I really like the rockets. Here they come. Oh, fucking hell! Oh, the trolls don't like it, Tom! <laughs> Ooh. Blammo. Trolls, not a big fan of fire. Ooh. Okay, rockets, not the most accurate, but... There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them, which is what makes them a bit more fun. Okay. Who turned off over here? Leaf Season Magbag has donated and says, Hello, my fellow weirdos. As true connoisseurs of deeply strange centaurs, I wanted to send you this rather exotic stock photo of a centaur. Probably not safe for work, fingers crossed. Oh, dude, mm. do I even want to click that link? We get seen a lot of very sexy centaurs. Yeah, I mean, is there any other kind? I don't know. I don't know anymore. Wow. Holy shit. That's a that's a thing. Yeah, maybe we might have to pass on that. I for think now. we're gonna pass on that one. Uh, Thanks, man. <laughs> but thank you. But it's nice to know that you know someone sees something and thinks of us. Yeah, they see some weird half human, half horse based smut. And <laughs> I think I know who's gonna want to see that. <laughs> Tom and Ben come to mind. Jeez. Oh. Uh, Johnny H has donated $25. Oh, shit, Johnny H, thank you very much. Thank you, Johnny H. And says, I hope Tiny Game Fest is going well. Pretty fun idea, in my opinion. Um, honestly, I already have most of the games in my Steam library. Maybe I should actually get around to playing them. You should check out the, the newer ones, dude. If you've got the classics, then you'll probably like some of those new ones. That have been, like Some of them aren't even out yet, and you can wishlist them. Good. That's how games do well now. Because you know yeah. how there's so many games on Steam that you just you can't even keep up with it. So now what Steam does is if a game gets a lot of wish lists, then when it comes out, it like pushes it right up and everyone sees it. Yeah. So if you're like a game dev, you desperately need wish lists to just even let anyone know that your game exists. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's, um, um, it's a rough deal. God, but I guess like you know they have to come up with some system to make that. Oh God, yeah, you got you got to filter it somehow. It just means if you can just get a bit of hype going, you've got to get hype going for your game and wishlist it, which is kind of what Tiny Teams is, gonna, is trying to do in, like in help, some way. Help people. Yes, yeah, so if you think one of those new upcoming games looks cool, give it a wishlist, even if you don't buy it. Just because then, you know, more people will see it. It's like leaving a like on YouTube. Yeah. And you get notified when it goes on sale, which is always nice. Yeah, which is cool. Yeah, like to be honest, like wishlisting games is how I kind of keep track of, like, most stuff that is coming out because yeah the amount of times I see a game upcoming and then just forget it exists for yeah, yeah 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 the time it actually comes out I'm, I forget toot toot all aboard <laughs> choo choo oh man I do really like the steam tank yeah it pivots weird though yeah god but um the fucking gyro stabilization on that turret. I know, it's like a chicken head, isn't it? Like, like, oh my god. Like, even up until like World War II, loads of tanks didn't have gyro stabilization, right? No, like, no. That was like a pretty that tech was a, That invention. was super high tech, and not even then, not very early and not good. 
But this thing is <laughs> It's got it fucking just nailed. Sorted out. I'm impressed. Very good. Wow. Um, bam. Yeah, we didn't need to fight that fight, but I just wanted to see... Um, see the rockets in the tank. Oh, they got one kill. Wow. Volkmar the Grim lost 25 guys. <laughs> <laughs> How many of your own men did you rocket, Volkmar? Oh. Feels bad. Bam. Amazing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, free XP for everyone. Perfect. Yeah, shit. Good work. Good job. Good job. Good job. Um, Airfio. Uh, Do next three bucks? Thank you very much. Airfio. And they say General Ripper Tom and Captain Mandrake Ben. Uh, is that a reference to something? Uh, maybe. I don't recognize it. Um, since you are talking about Dogs of War, have you tried Kataf's Southern Realms mod, The Cursed Company, Birdmen of Katraza, and other uh, are and others are present in the regiments of Renat? Could be fun. Uh -huh. Like we haven't done a ton of things that add lots of like custom. Units. No, we've sort of avoided big, big mods like that, just because we're worried like people won't know what the hell's going on, and we won't know what's going on. But. Uh, sort of open to the idea of doing it at some point. Mm. You might like to try. Let me test it out. But I do like Dogs of War. Uh, Lemon Boy uh, did its five bucks. And they say, hello, Tom and Ben. Hello. Uh, a while ago, you talked about telling your girlfriend about Warhammer and how to go about that. Mm. I recently confessed, but apparently she already knew about Warhammer and has a bunch of friends that play. Oh, cool. Can you please name a good unit? Abilasha. Oh, pal, we'll try and do our best. We're doing some recruiting, so yeah, we should have get. some new units soon. Oh that, man, that must have been like stress, 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 and then like, oh, big relief, nothing to worry about. Yeah, I don't. I kind of don't see why it should ever be a stressful thing. I feel well, like I think it's, it's so much more mainstream these days, and so much less of like a stigma than it used to be. It used to be like yeah, being a nerd is super cool. embarrassing. And now everyone's just fine with it. Especially now that like shit like Marvel movies are popular. Like people are a lot more understanding now. Yeah, like kind of the thing. whole like kind of geek and nerd culture is uh, everyone's way more open about it. Mm. Um, I think it's because of the OC. Do you remember that TV show? I don't remember the OC. I don't remember it being particularly nerd friendly. Um, but there was one character in it who was like the nerd, but then he turns into like the hot guy oh. and he was like meant to be like the peak of like geek chic and then suddenly everyone was like oh wait he's kind of hot but he talks about comics what is going on my, my whole perception my... of life is oh broken oh my god and that's what that's what did it you see what did it uh maybe i don't know but um i think it's because of us tom because of us. <laughs> We're the ones. We're the ones championing it. We are. Everyone is like, No wow. nerd stuff was cool before we did it. Before we spoke about it. And now... Now it's the best. Everyone loves it. Um, but I think it's good. I, I like it. it you know. Oh, God, yeah. I think everyone should be more understanding of all, like, interests, you know? Just because someone likes something else that's not something you like, there's absolutely no reason to give them a hard time. Yeah. Like, like if it's not hurting anyone... Yeah. And uh, like just because Age of Sigmar is dumb <laughs> doesn't mean you're dumb for liking it. Yeah, yeah, holy <laughs> shit. Like I think like, you know, um something that uh we should endlessly stress is mm -hmm. just because we don't like, like different something. things <laughs> and that is okay. And you know, I think like, you know, being being weird about stuff or like gatekeeping the hobby. I don't. Want, I, I hope no one ever comes away from the stream mm. and feels bad about the things that they like because we no. make fun of Age of Sigma and we, we make, make fun, fun of elves. elves or things like that. No, like, like I, I'm so glad that elves are in the game because if mm -hmm. we only had the factions that I liked in, War, it would be a much less interesting place. It wouldn't, wouldn't it? be very interesting, and I probably wouldn't like half of those as much because because mm. you don't have the contrast and the yeah comparison. yeah and. So I do think all of them are really good. I'm glad that Age of Sigma is a thing, that people play it and enjoy it, because yeah. the more nerds that are doing this hobby thing, That's it. means the more people that play it, 
the more they're going to make of it and the more stuff that they will come out that I will enjoy, mm -hmm. um, which is great. You yeah. Know, you should see it as like an investment that people people really like it. You know, who are oh, gatekeepers? Elves. That's very true. They've they, got loads of gates. They, they have a whole so island many, covered in fucking gates. They have an gates. island full of gates. Fucking elves. God. I oh, hate they're them. the worst. Um, Look at that. Fucking unicorn gate. There it is. Griffin gate. Wait a second. Eagle gate. What the fuck? Grimthorn. In hilarious reverse, you don't really like fancy goblins. Get out. Grimthorn. Ban that man. Ban them. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> This, you see, you this, are the one exception to not liking people for not liking the things you like. See, this was actually all a setup. <gasps> you weaseled my, them out. This was my Stalinist purge, <laughs> where I was like, right, we're gonna have a like a dinner. Everyone, just Everyone really come speak out. your mind. Anyone who has a problem with how I'm running things, <laughs> just, just say, and I'll be like, oh man, I'm so sorry I was doing that. Great, okay, so you three, you were the ones that had the problem. Yep. You guys, you were kind of chill. To the gulag. Boom. <laughs> Get them, boys! Right, we know. We know who the dissenters are, and we fucking got them. We'll never this, forgive. This is gatekeeping. <laughs> Fuck you, Age of Sigma. 40k is not how it used to be. Now round them all up. Land Raiders <laughs> aren't called it because of the guy. <laughs> <laughs> in 1997, when the Land Raider was first released, our Land didn't Land exist. Raider. He didn't even exist. <laughs> it is our. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> Jeez. Oh man, suckers! <laughs> Fucking idiots. <laughs> they we, fell for it <laughs> this whole time, just setting it all up. Um. Uh. <laughs> shit. <laughs> wow. Um, wow. Um, okay, right. Uh, <laughs> so... On that note... <laughs> on that note... Um, Should we name all these boys? Yeah, we've got to name name a whole load of boys. Um, I'm going to have to pull randomly from the name list, out of pure fairness. So we will go through and we will be reading the other donations as we play um, Rimworld. Don't yeah, we're still going to read the messages, but the namings are going to be done. And but we're we're, we can't name everything, so I'm just going to go from all the donations okay. received. We've got a lord here. A lord. Perfect. Um, bam. That is going to be uh, Daffid. One, two, three. Um, Daffid, you are in. I didn't read your message. I've just, just we'll read it later. been in the wheel. Tungard. at some Hans. Hans is back. Uh, and then we've got Broccoli. Is that how you spell Broccoli? I don't know. I, I'm not. Um, no. I'm not someone who should ever. Broccoli. <laughs> that is not how you spell Broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> okay, more to guard. Uh, is Orange Walrus. Perfect. Shariot. Uh, symbolic Stance. And then um, Elrock. I'm going to he's friends with Gorok. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, then Trapo, 98. Okay, next. Uh, then Guildenstern, 42. Oh, yeah, shit. If people want to, like, a specific name, sometimes I'm, like, if it isn't, like, super obvious, I'm just going to miss it. Uh, Riff and Tell Your Dicks. Perfect. Uh, Naren Lord, 16. Okay. Uh, Eli Scrubs. Cool. Uh, JM Jedi. All right. Uh, the Snarkiest. Uh, you shopty. Uh, Max Meme Stappen. Perfect. You are in. Uh, then next. Farty Truffles. <laughs> of course. You're in. Uh, red wine of Whitehall. Okay, and then in where we've got another stack. Uh, okay. Cool. Vessel teach. Vessel teach. Vessel teach, you are in. Vessel teach. Next. Uh, musical hammer. They're in. Uh, next? Johnny H. Cool. Uh, Archibald Damius. Uh, 
Perfect. Next. Uh, polite muffin. Cool. Imperator Benny. Here in. Uh, then Chrome. 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 Awesome. Who's next? Uh, Strange Mutant. Here in. Uh, Fell Forgulous. Cool. Uh, Denim and Lead. Oh, they want to be called Skelly Cats. If we can have Skelly Cats. Skelly Cats. Perfect. Uh, and then it is. Um, the bed. Uh, totally not Adam. Cool. Uh, Zubal Dude. Zubal Dude. Perfect. And lastly, but not least, uh, Nickly. Uh, <coughs> Nickly. Uh, Nick Lee. Perfect. Right. We're going to wrap up Warhammer then for this week. We'll be back next week with more Warhammer. And then in a million, we'll be back with a Warhammer themed Rimworld. Bam. We'll be doing it. Warhammering. But Rimworld. <laughs> awesome. See you in a bit. See you soon. Hold on. We'll be back soon. We'll be back.